thing more when we get this. So I'm sorry. I feel some kind of way because our normal intro is normally like slotted and ready to go. And I just looked and it's not there. Oh, I'm, I got to figure out what happened. <laughs> but anyway, we what anyway, what happened was week. <laughs> right. What had happened was technical difficulty would not be it would not be our show without at least one. So. Man, got to have a hopefully, if that's the one, then we're good for the day. Oh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> get it out the way, you know. Get it out the way. Get it out the way. Nah, we're good. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all having a great day. We got Rob, we got vocab. Jay will be a yeah. little bit late today, but he will be here. Gentlemen, how was your week? I've uh, been fun, been eventful. Say that much. Yeah, yeah. It's been so what cool. we got going on? Little, uh... Trying to get some trips set up, trying to get some other stuff set up. Okay. Okay. Word, word. And Always peep this. Yeah, here's a good thing. Shout out. I'm gonna do this right now. Shout out to Verizon Wireless. Yeah. Um, I got I got my original phone number back. I got my OG number back. I'm my New York number yeah. back. You're a New Yorker okay. again. They He's a New Yorker. The, they came through in the clutch. I'm, I go check my email the other day. They're like, "Your original. We got your number back." I was like, "Oh." But I had Spectrum, and Spectrum runs their phone numbers through Verizon. So fun fact. Uh, ah. Okay. Know. I was I was resigned. Back, I was like, okay, got my got my three four seven number. I'm I'm a New Yorker, only in phone only at this point. Yeah. <laughs> in spirit, in spirit and phone. There you go. Mm-hmm. So we back, baby. We back. We back. We resurrected. <laughs> you see? <laughs> he got pulled out of the graveyard. Right. Coming up like Undertaker back in the day. Right. <laughs> Man, we have. Oh, so many, oh, so many things. We will not get through all of it, and I know that, but no, it's okay. <laughs> when do we ever? Right. <laughs> when do we ever? Um. But yeah, Rod was mentioning he went to go see Creed. We're not gonna go too deep into it, but what's your uh, what's your rating? What we got, bro? I got I got solid nine out of ten. It was a pretty good movie. Okay. Fight scenes, right. fight scenes were awesome. They were awesome. The camera work was the best, most surprising really? part about it. Like, I've never seen camera work like that in a boxing movie. And honestly, I'll say this right now. Creed 3 is definitely in my top five of boxing movies, along with Undisputed. The, them two are still in my top five. I, I do love Undisputed. So that is a nice one. That is a nice one. Like, so he said he was taking some, he was taking points from like Epo and some other boxing anime. Yeah, so. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think talking I, about the cinematics. Maybe that's why. Listen, I if I see a Dempsey roll when I go watch it, it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's <laughs> over. It's yeah. over. There was definitely some anime tropes in there, especially a common Dragon Ball from an instance in spite. They got that a particular punch in pretty good towards the end of the movie. Okay. Uh, if you know, right, okay. An infamous gut punch, and I'll leave it at that. If you know your Dragon Ball, uh, you, should, you, should know which, you should know which one I'm talking about. Okay. okay. Somebody getting so, folded? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say a lot of people got knocked the fuck out. I'll leave it at that. That's what's up. That, no boxing movie is without a good knock the fuck out. <laughs> like, you, you got to have, have at least a couple. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Got to. Man. Well, that's what's up. I know we're going to have some updates uh, with Jay. Yeah. Jay's got a couple of possible candidates that we may have later so i'll let him talk on that when he comes in later and then we'll really get into the the creed conversation at that point that way you and him can you know what i mean trade facts and points and stuff like that um since i have yet to see it and i don't think vocab have seen it yet either i have not seen it yet yeah, I'm definitely yeah. gonna try to get into watch Epo now because I feel I know I missed a couple of references. You have you have to watch Epo. You have to watch that from the beginning. Yes, like that is like the greatest underdog boxing story. Listen, 
it's better. It's it's on not better than it's on par with Rocky, as far as like underdog to greatness. I'm, no evil. I'm I might have it over Rocky, bro. You had it over Rocky. Like, <laughs> that's a hot take. Rocky hot take. Is I can see it. A movie, movie. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, but, but any I feel bad for any boxing movie coming after Creed three because that that cinematography is gonna be it's gonna be hard to hard to hard to hard beat. to do. Yeah, got you. What up, Jumbo? Uh, Appreciate Jumbo. you swinging through. But uh, I'll I'll leave it at that till Jay comes because honestly, okay, I, I was impressed. I was yeah, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let's go ahead and get um our birthday piece out the way. Okay. Uh, we got a couple. We don't have a lot today. Uh, we'll deal with that here in a minute. And I will mm-hmm. not lose it this time. Last time I <laughs> said I was gonna touch something and then lost it. Right. <laughs> lose um, it. right. We're not doing it this time. I want to start off with this wonderful lady here. Lupita, <laughs> I forget how I forget how to say her last name. Nyong'o. Nyong'o. Yes. There you go. Her birthday was March first. She turned forty. Forty. Oh, I think. Oh, I know she yeah. was that old. Okay. Yeah, she black turned crack, forty. Black, don't crack. So black does not crack not at, at all. all. At all. Um. So shout out to her. Hope she had an amazing birthday. I did not know she is fluent in English, Spanish, Luo, and Swahili. I'm and not surprised. I'm not surprised not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Let's see here. She is of Kenyan and Mexican descent. Uh, like, well, she was born in Mexico. Forgive me. Kenyan descent, born in Mexico. Forgive me. Um, and then in, in 2014, she was People's Magazine's most beautiful person. So, hey. shout out to her for her birthday this month. Hopefully, she enjoys her entire birthday month. You know how we do things yes, around here. Mm, yes, you get sir. the full birthday month. Um, you got the whole month. The whole, not a half, not a whole, not the full. Uh, next birthday we got is Miss Yuko Sampe. Her birthday was back on February 28th. I know we're backtracking a little bit, but you know, we was That's all right. taking some time in February. Uh, but she was selling the, the what was it, Pride? Yep, was it, that was, was Pride. Pride, Pride yeah. in uh, Full Metal Brotherhood, yeah. Tai Chi. I mean, come on, Tai in the original Digimon, yeah, and Baruto. Yeah. But just surprising, she took over. On um, fun fact with her, she took over the tie role from the previous VA because the previous VA retired. Mm-hmm. So that's a replacement. Mm-hmm. So anything more recent with Ty, it's been her. So like you Adventures, go. Try, Adventures Twenty Twenty, that was all mm-hmm. her. Okay, okay, that's what's up. So yeah, hopefully she enjoyed her birthday month as well. Uh, mean, so she that, got Boruto, so she awesome good. Oh uh, yeah, she's she constantly at work. And then Mika and uh, Genshin. So, you know, that ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Yeah. She, she gets Side some note, paychecks. Right. Quasar the Stigmata, if you have never seen it. <laughs> have either of you seen that show? Nah, I don't think I've heard of it. Not a- um, it is it is not a child show. I will put it that way. You see the bug eyes on the panda. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not a child show. Um, a lot of action in it, but it definitely delves into the hentai realm just a smidge. Okay, so we talking food war service hen- and levels? No, or? we talking hentai. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so we not- so- soft core Cinemax. Okay, oh, Cinemax, Cinemax. Yeah, we Cinemax. Cinemax. Yeah, oh, you bring us back our days, but. <laughs> These young people yeah. don't know about Skin and Max, bro. <laughs> They've had porn oh, and everything. X2. Right. Ducks. Right. And, and HBO. All kinds of stuff. Right. H- HBO. <laughs> Real sex. Bro, Not even what? We're going back. Yo, remember, so, yeah. the fuzz, remember the Fuzzy channel? I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with you. Tell my age a little bit. Tell we are. We are. You, you can't be doing that one. You can't be doing that one. That, that's, we, that's too much. We we in Lupita's generation. We got to keep it. We got to keep it cool. Right. We got to keep it classy. You got to keep it classy for her. For keep her. It classy. This generation just straight up only fan. That okay. True. We not straight, gonna straight up selling it on the internet. They don't even care. <sighs> too they no sneak in. We used to have to sneak. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> And, and hope that hope the screen was was uh was not warm. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all <laughs> when the person we used fast. to, nah, we used I to have to work about Cartoon that. Network, then you press that little back button right there. 
<laughs> so we know what type of kid you were, Vulcan. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't have to run. I had, I had a TV in my room. I didn't have that problem. <laughs> I had a TV in my room too. Well, you know, black parents. You never know right. when they just come to the What room. look? What's a room? <laughs> What's a door? Right. Not in my house. Right. You pay. You pay rent. Oh, okay. Right. No, no, no. Rent. You do. You do what? What? Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. I just allowed you to live there. I mean, this is the one I used to be up like four or five in the morning before school playing Final Fantasy X in my senior high school. So. Let's see, so yeah. Um, those are the two birthdays we had. We do have two passings though that cut a little bit deep for me. Um, uh-huh. The first one is Mr. Shozo. Uh, oh yeah, he was Napa. He was Android Eight. He was also. I'm, I'm gonna run this this man's list real quick. Run it. Lilo and Stitch, he was Jumba, the, ah. the scientist. Ah. He was Genji, Epo's coach. Genji? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. was him. Okay. We were just talking about Epo. Yeah. His coach, yeah. his boxing coach. He yeah, did yeah, the that's what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Um, from Common Rider Black, he was Bosgan. Mm. Oh. From Mobile Suit, he was Rio Jose. Okay. Yeah, nice. From. Voice. Common Rider and Super Sentai. He was the Demon King Psycho. Mm. He oh, was Dollism it? back in Street Fighter 2 and 5. Okay. Flinch Ooh. from Lupin the Third. Inspector Lestrade. I'm going to throw y'all back. Y'all ready? From Let's Sherlock Hound. Yo. You were back. You were back. You you were back. back. And I'm not mad at it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And so, see, oh, yeah. I see why this could be passed. Yeah. yeah. This is why. Um, some people are concerned about modern Dragon Ball, and I go, a lot of these actors are up there in age too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was ninety six. He was ninety six. Yeah, yeah. He did pass uh, for natural causes, so that's a a, be- a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. just you know, you live age. The full life. right? Well, let's all let's all hope and pray. We're ninety six. That's all we can do. Right, right. I, be that old. I ain't gonna lie to um, you. <laughs> No, nah, I look good as him. I'm good. <laughs> I look that good at 96. He he looks he looked good at the end. Like, yeah. Even at the he yeah. looked good. So that's definitely facts. Um, but yeah, so he uh was he passed on the 15th of last month is when that happened. Um and then it was a heart failure here, they said. So just general. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's natural. You're right, yeah. age, age. And then the last one, and this one, this one cuts even deeper. Um, where is it here? Of course, this is the one that don't want to show up. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of all the stuff I downloaded, and this be the one that don't want to pull up. Give me one second here. I, why you I feel, I feel away. Because I feel away now. No, this yeah. wasn't the one that. <laughs> no, this is not the one that I was trying to pull up early. <laughs> While you're doing that, uh, let me go ahead and uh talk to the fans. Today is brought to you by go for Demon it. Slayer. We got some Caribbean drinks. We on the Dragon Stout. Got the Shandy. What the, wait a minute. The coconut water. And some regular water. Always, always. Yes. Gotta hydrate, you know? Wait a minute. Got to hydrate. Wait a minute. I don't know what. Nah, what? I thought I just saw something on Twitter. Hold on, let me. We just talking Dragon Ball. I thought I saw something. Oh well, when you figure it out, let me let me know. Let me know. Oh, and some breaking Pokemon news too. I just found. But okay, I saw something on YouTube. Looks like there might be a Tenkaichi Budokai Four coming out, but I don't know if it's a rumor or not. I can't tell. I just see a YouTube link. All right, we'll get into that here in a second. Um, this gentleman here, Oscar Lawton Wilkerson Jr. Oh yeah, ninety six. He passed. Oh, yeah, last Tuskegee, right? Last yep. Tuskegee area. Yeah. yeah, he he did pass um, on the eighth as well. Um, for those who do not know, if you don't know a bit of history, um, basically the Tuskegee Airmen were the first. African American soldiers to successfully complete their training and enter the Army Air Corps. It was a thousand total that was produced. Um, he was like that first class between like 1940, 1946. 
Um, only 445 were actually deployed overseas. Of that 445, 150 passed during that time at war. Um, but they yeah, they were the first America's first African American military pi- pilots, pirates, <laughs> pilots. Um, uh, I was gonna say they don't look you know, a second there. Yeah, but think think about that. Think about the timeline. He was ninety six. Yeah, that's grand. That's grandparents. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think my grandma's like 86, 87 right now. That'd be yes. great grand too. That'd be great grand right. too. It wasn't that. It wasn't that long ago. He was the first. The he was around, among the first African American pilots in our military. That wasn't that long ago. Mm-mm. When people start talking about changes and you know what I'm saying and how people see things and how things are viewed, yeah. that wasn't that long ago. That was mm-hmm. a grandparent away. About three, four people generations. Act like this stuff is right, right. People want to act like this stuff is so far away. It wasn't. It was not. Mm-mm. You know, my sure. grandparents' parents. You know, our great grands. Right. We're going through some of this stuff. You know, so it's uh it's, it's it makes you think. It makes you think about some things. So, right. Uh, but yeah, so that was that was the last one on on that. But you know, hopefully his family is doing well as as well as they can. You know what I mean yeah. during something like that. So, yeah. but yeah. Um, on to something a little more upbeat. Because sorry, I didn't mean to drop the tempo yeah, <laughs> on yeah, that. Yeah. Um, oh, let's go, Pokemon. True. Okay. Oh, we're here. Okay. All right, Let's before we jump to Pokemon, before we jump into Pokemon, I am going to confirm breaking news. I've seen this on Geekdom 101's um, YouTube. Confirm mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is in development. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Tenkaichi 4. Yep. I'm with it. I'm with it. That'll be that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. I haven't played that. That's going to be that's going to be a good game. We definitely going to have to be streaming that with us fighting. And I'm I'm calling Vegeta right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do Ultra Eagle Vegeta. Fine. Cool, cool. No, I got the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so those muscles. <laughs> Doesn't want to get that breaking news out the way, but we can jump as a Pokemon. No, no, no. You're good. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's what's up. Um, yeah. I'm actually gonna jot that in here while I'm talking about it while we do while i while i jot this in my notes um let's go with the pokemon go updates you had thrown them out there for us before i got them right oh. here for you oh yeah it's been a lot of been a lot of go updates yeah, especially with scarlet and violet mm-hmm. so if you got go if you've been having trouble getting the give me go coins this is another way to get the coins so, uh, you, so certain poke stops will be yellow and you get gimme you coins from that, and you can catch gimme you. I haven't had a chance to test this out myself yet, but I've seen people get their coins. I've seen I just saw a screenshot of someone with um um forget the evolved form name is um I forget the evolved form name. I still gotta I still gotta get that in um scroll um, violet myself. I still gotta get it, but what the gimme go? Yeah, but you can get gimme go on Pokemon Go now too. Uh yeah, they're slowly starting to bring some of the Scarlet and Violet stuff in there. And it should be another big Pokemon home update coming Golden soon. Golden Go? What as... up, Money? Golden yeah, Go. Golden Go. Yeah. As I don't have that in um in Violet yet, but I'm still missing all the Scarlet ones. I got to get with Jay and the three of us got to get and just finish up the Paradox Pokemon. We got to get that finished up one of these days. Gotcha. Um, Speaking of the Paradox ones, I've got the images for those whenever you're ready to, so... Okay, yeah. Okay, so okay, we'll break that. And then I just saw um from one of my favorite Twitch um YouTuber PokeTube is Agent D. She posted on Twitter the next seven star raid. So you know we have um the new and vocab. I'm I wish I had my switch on me because they got new drip for the. Actually, let me look at my switch right now. I'll be right back. All right. Well, while he's doing that. Of course, as we were talking about the seven star raid, um, the last raid we had was Pikachu, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that was 
end of last month, I want to say. Monty, he is late. He's going to be around, but he, he says he's running late. So. I just had to finish um, it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I'm back. Yeah, that was Pikachu. No, yeah. you're good. You're good. Yeah, Pikachu was just like a celebration. There's gonna be new DLC for um Scarlet and Violet, which mm-hmm. you can which you can pre-order. That's a water terror type Pikachu, which it comes with a light ball. That thing was hard to beat. That thing was not fun to beat. Yeah, because they gave Pikachu 50% more HP than it normally would have in the in the raids. Oh wow. So they're not playing around with these terror raids. Well, yeah, especially if it's seven star. I mean, I would assume the higher they go up, they gotta they gotta eventually ramp these up. Um, because I heard they're talking about those DLC that are coming out, but we haven't we haven't had a upgrade on anything or any new raids or anything. Uh, how long now? Like any new like updated stuff? Not yet, because the DLC is coming. Um, there's two DLCs, one coming in the fall, one coming in the winter. But if you pre-ordered the games, which I've already done, mm-hmm. they have new drip. So I'm gonna show uh, this on camera. This is the springtime one. I don't know. Let me know if you guys need to pull that. This is the um violet. Um, there you go. That's for, yeah, that's for um violet. Okay. So that's one. Let me see. Give me a second here. Autumn. Okay, this is the autumn drip. Okay. Okay. And we get summertime. I have to say, I'm going to need them to stop making this man look like a pilgrim on Plymouth Rock. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the outfits are not the best compared to the other games in the past. And then this is the winter one. This is the one I got. This is the one I'm wearing now currently in the game. I feel like that's... Okay. I guess Why you got a, a blue velour jumpsuit? I don't know. It's really like, that's purple. what it looked like. <laughs> He's got a velour jumpsuit on. My boy rocking Fubu. <laughs> yeah, but that's the new drip that if you pre-order the um DLC, you can automatically download those already. So there is another terror raid that happened. So that's Pikachu. That was for Pokemon Day. Mm-hmm. Then the current ones you got is um two Paradox Pokemon. They're gonna be for the DLC also. You got Suicune and Verizion. So there we go with those. Been trying to get these. Those two are not fun. Those are very hard. I'm not I'm not quoting any of them. And I'm at the point. I'll just wait for the DLC. Wow. <laughs> uh I guess there's supposed to be this new Hisuian Zorark. Yeah, if you well. played yeah, Legend RCS. That's a pre-order bonus to get the DLC. I have them already. Okay. You can breed you can breed him and you can breed them to get the baby version Zorog. You can get it shiny too. So it's gonna confirm you can shiny, you can get the shiny of it. And any Pokeball you want, you just gotta breed it with a ditto and then breed the ditto and then just breed again. But not bad. Gotcha. So like I said, okay, if you want to grab this, you would get this Pokemon for free. So you don't have to have Legend okay. Arts. Okay. Okay, so that's free. Yes, you got to have it by the thirty first. So you got we got some time this year. Got a couple months, uh, right? To still be able to get that. So, and then what I just saw broke on Twitter. The next seven star raid is going to be Decidueye. So Decidueye is back in the game. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so Rally, yeah, Rally, yeah it has, it's the regular form. It's not the one from Arceus, unfortunately. It's, but that might be coming when the Pokemon Home update comes. But and then those are the new Pokemon that's going to be in the two DLCs. First one is the, uh, I believe, Tribal Mask. Yeah. And and the other one is the Indigo Disc. So there's been if you've been seeing some turtle floating around with all the logos and everything. Oh, here we are. Hold up. I got gotcha. you. This dude. Yeah. That's yeah, that's the legendary for the indigo disc. And as you can see, the region is ba- Paldea is based on his design, as you can tell, which was very sneaky by Pokemon Company because I did not notice it. So I still say, I still say they just need to do start doing like planetary, planetary Pokemon and then give us a space version of Pokemon, like to where continents are the Pokemon that they're fighting. I'm I just be- saying. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, like I said, I've been liking the paradox. Well, like as a I, movie, 
not a short series, but like as a movie, like a mini series. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe that's something Netflix could do. I mean, they got the new um, stop motion one. That's going to probably be interesting. Yeah, I I believe I got the link for that too. Give me just a moment here. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Concierge. They were talking about. Yeah, this Let me was pull it up also, for y'all. Yeah, this was also announced on Pokemon Day, which I knew there was a reason Pokemon Netflix grabbed. This is what it's looking like. Go ahead. I mean, anything have volume on you. No, that's fine. Like, I'm interested. Like. I'm glad to see there's another Pokemon series out there. I mean, I guess it just took Ash retirement for us to get some new stuff. I mean, yeah, once they get them out the way, it's pretty much a, you know, it is what it is situation after that. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm going to probably binge watch the last bit of it. Um, and then Netflix dropped um, some episodes too. So that's pretty cool. So Netflix is mm-hmm. almost done with um, Journeys, but they got up to... Cynthia versus Iris in the Master Eight, so they got that far. Okay, which, which was a very good battle, and people were surprised when Cynthia Mega evolved. That was just not even fun, to, and she didn't have to do that to Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia, like, okay, okay, <laughs> you know, so we're like, she was like, um, what you go like Denzel and Training Day, like, oh, okay, I'll, oh, I'll okay, Cynthia, all okay. right, all right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh, this is the other one you were talking about, the other yeah. legendary. Yeah, that's the legendary from the mask. It looks like some people think it's the mask that you see on the on the um terror Pokemon, that little face. People oh. are speculating that might be him. Okay, okay. That would make sense. That would definitely make sense. Yeah, I mean, because the title of all the DLC is the mysteries of area zero. So there probably might be more to this story than we know already. Which I like. I'm liking that they're doing a DLC instead of doing a third version. I'm liking this. I'm liking this pattern. That's what's up. This is uh, that new yeah. show you were talking. Here's yeah, the, this is the a, banner for the new series. Yeah, this looks cool. And as I joked around in um, Urban Anime League, uh, Pikachu and Charizard are never going to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, of course not. Ever. No. No. Not ever. ever. I like the new Pikachu. I'm not going to lie. I like the new Pikachu. The Captain like Pikachu him. is legit. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's the smirk, the smugness of him. I just need him to keep that smugness the entire time. You know what I mean? I'm the captain now. <laughs> right. Yeah, because I thought honestly, I thought they were gonna retire the voice actress that played Pikachu, but she's gonna continue going. She's staying. Yeah. Which yep, I which yep. I'm a little bit surprised about. I thought they may they might switch it up. They might switch it up. Let me see Charizard in there. You see Ella Kid. You see Rayquaza in the corner. On the oh, you left see that cat Mega Man over there. Yep. Uh, Cerulege. Yep. <laughs> like I'm, I'm intrigued with what they're going to do with the Scarlet and Violet anime. But they already confirmed they're going to be. It's going to be mostly in Paldea, but they are going to go to other regions too. So hmm. we, you know, maybe Adam, we, we might see an adult ad. We don't know if there's a time jump or anything yet. So I mean, we're just playing this out in the open right now. True. But I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if Ash and Pikachu pop up eventually. I wouldn't be surprised. They won't be in school, obviously. The way Pal Day is set up, I don't think we'll see them in the school. Right. Or maybe they might do, but I'm if it's a Tondra, they should do it just like the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. How Jaden Bump did zoom this in real quick. Hold up. Oh yeah, Chansey Met- Oh, Metagross. I've got Metagross is gonna be featured. That's cool. And oh, and a little grime. Oh, that's right. That- well, I was trying to see if maybe, like, if they jumped it, how far they jumped it, if that was Ash on Charizard. <laughs> nah, some people thought it was um Guzman from X and Y at first, but no, that's uh, a totally new character. You know, everybody's new, even a Pikachu, even Charizard. That's so cliche to have a um the, the guy riding Charizard is like the cab driver, so he has a Charizard and a Pikachu, so he must be an Ash fan. <laughs> could right. Be a fan of, could be a fan of Ash, but like I said... Time will tell how this anime does. I feel I feel like for Pokemon as a franchise, they needed to retire Ash and Pikachu maybe two, three generations ago. Honestly, mm-hmm. I thought I thought they would retire him after a low. I mean, he won the championship, and then he just had Generation Eight, which just kind of like a like I kept saying it was like his last ride. I kept saying that the entire time we were talking about it. Right? Yeah. No, it really was. It really was. Yeah, but I mean, uh, the I'm only the- other one that I had was. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I was getting to that. 
Yeah, Gudra. This should be a fun one. I think he's going to be a. Oh, I think he's an all rounder, man. I know you like the all rounders, so. Oh yeah, he, definitely. He might. If, be we can, if he can be an all rounder with like some with a, I just need him to have a distance attack. He might. You be know what all, I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you're all rounder, so you might like him. And then Lapras is coming in April, which I think a lot of people are more excited about Lapras, honestly. Do they know if he's going to be uh, defense or? He's supposed to be a defender. Okay. I can't see him. I can't see him as anything else but defender or support. It depends on which way you want to go. Hmm. But we have, some people are hoping defender. I think after him, the next Pokemon is going to be Umbreon. So, okay. See, yeah. Umbreon should have been an attack. But how? But Umbreon competitively is more played in support or defense. So true. True. Depends on how to, even Gujo is more defensive, but it might be a more defense, a more defense heavy all rounder because there's not no defense heavy all rounder to my knowledge. Not yet. There is not. No. Uh-uh. I thought Sizz- I thought Scissor might be it, but nope. Yeah, no. That's it. He's definitely me. definitely attack attack uh, warranted. Yeah, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. I know we were talking about this between us. We're probably not going to do this this episode, but maybe another episode or two. Um, just uh, I'll just throw a little bit of One Piece news we found out. Um, Oda, sorry, Monty, I'm just going to get this out the way now. This is just kind of related to Pokemon, but Oda confirmed that Pokemon do exist in the One Piece universe. He said that in the interview. He did say that. So, and I, I was looking into that. What it was is he was going he was going through the the types of manga that they've got um and he was like there's that one there is it was like three or four others that he mentioned in there pokemon monkey ball fire dog um sora warrior of the sea marco san but they're like little illustrated books that's like their version of manga ah and that's so that's what he was saying was with that was that there he's basically infiltrated you use the other shows as pieces in the show as like little gems. Yeah, that's cool. I can kind of see Pokemon the way One Piece universe is something like Pokemon existing does not surprise me, honestly. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. The way those animals look, no. Nah. They the, he, he could have his old set, his own set of Pokemon from there. It could be a whole other country worth of stuff. So yeah, yeah that could, maybe that's something Luffy and them. Maybe there is a Pokemon country. Maybe Luffy and them don't don't see it. Unfortunately, it's possible. No, that would be a, that would be a crossover. I mean, hey, like, I mean, who, who would you have them fight though? Like who who would he fight? Because you know he'd have to go toe to toe with a Pokemon. Like who would he go to toe to toe with? I could see Luffy probably. It'd be, probably be Mewtwo. Mewtwo. I can see that. I can see that. Okay. Mewtwo. Because knowing Luffy, he probably would want to sit. It'd be the Mewtwo from the original Pokemon movie. That's that's what it would be. It'd it probably would have be to be. Like, it'd be yeah. something like that. Luffy hears about some captured po- Moxes, don't know what's Pokemon, but it's probably just it's a misunderstanding. Like, you know, Mewtwo was trying to protect the clone Pokemon, and someone's mm-hmm. trying to hunt down the clone Pokemon. Actually, that would be a... Well, I mean, One Piece does have the... I mean, Netflix does have the One Piece rights, too. So, yeah. Keep an eye on that. That's something to keep an eye on, uh, actually. Well, that would be interesting. Because they 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 finally released the other crossover after ten years, but they finally they finally pulled that back out. So oh, I maybe... forgot to record that. I forgot to record that. I meant to record that. I forgot. Uh, oh, is it worth recording, or should I just wait till I get to on when I'm watching it? And so, uh, I'll, I mean, it's gonna be in the rest of the stuff now. I, I think it's gonna be in the regular storyline, so you should be able to find it normally now. Oh, okay, cool. I might just look. Yeah, it up. I don't think it was a worry. Yeah. Yeah, because I know yeah, Funimation. Like yeah, I know Funimation and Dragon Ball Cat. They be they they kill it when they got new stuff when they get, when they get material. They be killing it low key. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, that's, that's it on the Pokemon front. I can't really all think on of the Pokemon. Thing. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I, I want to throw. <laughs> I want to throw a throwback out there. Um, <laughs> this is completely random. I found this, and I had to laugh. Y'all remember JJ Icefish? Yes, I actually was watching that shit the other day because it popped Bro up. Bro, man, got married. What? I'm trying to remember where I know him from, but I can't remember. Ooh, he, he used to sing. It was horrible. 
but he used to sing and do music videos. Yo, man was singing in the key of Q, bro. Right. <laughs> right. Well, well, there is but someone for everybody. I'm proud man. of him. I'm proud of him. He got his teeth fixed too. Oh, okay. He, look, he looks like he, he looks like he didn't he didn't kind of you know what I mean settle down a little bit. So yeah. I'm proud of him though. He did get married, oh. so congrats. But for those of us who, who was around through his era, his album era, y'all already know. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> All right, respect, respect. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm glad to hear that. Um, sorry, that was just the funny little yeah throw in. Um, I'm gonna save one of these. Oh, hold on. This one right here. Some of y'all have never watched anime on YouTube at 360p with each episode split into three parts, and it definitely shows. Facts. Facts, though. That's for all my for my older anime fans. Those what it is, or downloading stuff from LimeWire and getting screwed over. Mm, oh, LimeWire, oi. <laughs> Lime wire, frost wire, uh, pirate bay. Just, I wonder if pirate bay is even around anymore. Nah, it's, oh. it's done. They and yes. they got locked up with people who. Wow. Yeah. All the bit torrent sites. I remember one of my favorite yep. ones was TV Nehan. used to have all the Super Sentai. Actually, I'm gonna look them. Up. I wonder if they're still around. I'm gonna look them up real quick. Wow. <laughs> so it was funny. I saw um, I saw a post somewhere on Facebook. And people were sharing like the top streaming sites for anime right now. And they were all like, they were the pirate sites. It was like Kiss Anime and everything else. And I'm sitting there like, bro, I actually had to make a post. Like, normally I don't say nothing, but this time I had to because I'm like, for those of you who do not understand the culture of pirate sites, I appreciate y'all sharing the love. I really do because everyone needs to know and deserves to know about these websites because they're great. Thanks. However, mm-hmm. y'all bring it light to these like this is how they get cut off. Like <laughs> y'all can't just start posting them like this in group. Like y'all got three, four, five, ten thousand likes and stuff on this post. You do y'all realize how many times Kiss Anime has changed? Yo, the dot TV, said, the dot CO, the dot UK, the dot <laughs> like in order for oh. them to stay around, they gotta keep moving. And y'all gonna put these out here like this? Like this you share, yes, you share, but not like this, y'all. Not like this. So I think it's just an era of people who are just used to getting, you know what I mean? They're used to getting stuff instantly without understanding what that can come with. Yep. Oh, they still around. Who? Hmm. Uh, the, the website I used to use was Super Sensei. It looks like they don't do as much anymore, but the website's still active, so that's gotcha. always good. That's always gotcha. good. I used to get my sub um, Kamen Rider, sub so Super Sentai. Uh, but, right. but, but you got Pluto TV nowadays for Super Sentai. So this is true. Cool. This is true. And then shout out uh, to also, uh, Pluto. Yeah, shout- Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, probably you're probably saying what was about to say what I was gonna say. Shout probably. out to Pool TV, <laughs> 24 hour Sailor Moon channel for your for, let your peoples know that we're Sailor Moon fans. They got a 24 hour mm-hmm. Sailor Moon channel now. That's what's up. Yep. Uh, they're also having uh, they're adding a Rocky channel and a oh, Women yeah. of Wrestling channel also here. Oh, soon. that's kind of cool. So, that's pretty cool. Shout out to them on that one. That'll be an interesting, interesting little setup there. Um, yeah. So that update is going to be good times. Uh, I did want to go ahead. I want to hit into the Crunchyroll Awards. Uh, they that finally, is- we got the award winners for like best anime and all that stuff. So let's kind of piece through these here real quick. Okay. Uh, starting out, the grand winner anime of the year, Crunchyroll Awards, was Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I will not lie. I did not watch this. Me either. Did either of you. Okay. Nope. Okay. I did not. So I'm going to have to go back and watch it now. I'll probably try to watch some of it this week. Come back and let y'all know my thoughts on it um, and kind of go from there. But I guess it won. It won the uh, top overall. So I mean, I, shout out I, to them. 
I heard it looked good. I've heard some things like the you know it looks good. It looks nice. So mm-hmm. yeah, and see that was my fear is that it was just going to be one of those that looked good. You know what I mean? Because Cyberpunk the game wasn't all that. Yeah. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. So I kind of kept it on the edge. So I'll go to I'll go give it a look. Um, next best opening sequence: the rumbling, of course. <laughs> AOT. Yeah. I mean, for 2023, 2022. I guess. Years, I, I guess. I'm so mad at Attack on Titan because how they doing this last season, but oh, stop splitting up the ending of the two. Yeah, like yeah. I want to watch, and then I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Mm. Right, right. It's like we ended it. Can we? Can we be over? It, it's done, mm-hmm. right? So. Uh, next, we have the best ending sequence. They said Spy Family. I don't know if I agree with this one. It was cute. It was cool. It is cute. It is cute, but I liked I liked Jujutsu Kaisen's, Jujutsu Kaisen's ending. I liked the music in that one. Uh, and this the, just the swag. And there was one other one. I forget what it was. I mean, good well, news. I don't think it would have been in the running because it was a little bit newer. It was a little bit newer, so it might have been running. I don't know, maybe maybe some one piece related. I don't know. I'm just throwing a guess out there. I don't know. Eh, I'm not too big on their on their their outros. I'm not too big on their outros. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah. They're cool. They fit, but as far as like the quirkiness, oh, buddy, daddy. But that's oh, a new one. Like, oh, I gotta watch that. Maybe that that could probably be nominated next year. Buddy, that's daddy. what I'm, I'm. It definitely should. It definitely should be in a nomination for something next year. I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, the best animation they said was Demon Slayer. Okay. Uh, the Yaiba arc. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mm-hmm. mad. I'm not. Um, a respectable pick. A respectable yeah. pick. Oh, like overall, looking at it, like I think had we had we had Gear Five, it wouldn't have won. True. Or if like Ultra Ego came out for Dragon Ball, then right, know. something like that, right. But there weren't too many really aesthetically drawn anime. I think if that makes sense. Yeah, um, I mean, look how people were trying to beat it with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, surprised, I'm surprised One Piece didn't get things. Wasn't wasn't Roof Piece this year or was that last year? Uh, Roof Piece. You talking about Red? No, not red. Um, the when they were on the roofs out, I, I kept seeing people say like this with like a whole sequence of them fighting on roofs or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, that yeah, that's still going. That's um the whole Kaido thing. That's what I said, but it's not done. It's not like a oh, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, they're we're still in the middle of the of, of the fight, right? So oh, that's so what I, was like, I don't think fight. it would have. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that makes that makes sense. Then. Okay, that's why I was like, I think if we'd have finished it, you know what I mean, he got the full full going i think that might have competed with it other than the fact that they kept they uh, it's one piece so we all know the first right. 10 minutes is a recap unfortunately um <laughs> it, it's well, a, it's a fact of it now at this point it, ever since thriller bark they did that if it ain't broke don't fix it i guess that's that's, a, that's their moniker hey if it works it works i'm not gonna argue with it i'm not but i just know to skip the first <laughs> That's what I've been doing with streaming. That's what I've been doing with streaming. Unless I'm just like watching it. I'm like watching it subtitled and I'm working. But other than Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, no, I I agree. I definitely agree with that one. Uh, Next, we have best original anime. And Mm -hmm. I actually did not watch this one either. Like Mm -hmm. Forest Recoil. Um, I actually don't even know what this one was about at all. So I I have to go look into that. Did you watch it? I did. How was it? I I enjoyed it. It was one of those. So remember on the show we had talked about how like every season I just pick up random animes and watch yeah. them. Mm-hmm. And so this was one of them. It was cool. It was it was straight. You know what I'm saying? It was. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's cute because there's there's some boxing in it. There's a little bit of boxing. In it, so. Okay. Oh, that's what's up. It was, it was cool. I can I can see it being like that's as far original. as the new joint. Yeah, definitely. So I, I could see. see and what then, you but, it, it best original, and that's what I was like. But Boji was in the same season. This is 
But wait, is it Boji based on the manga or is that also original IP? Ah, that's a good question. I do not know. Yeah, I don't know. It, is Boji because, based on the manga? Yeah, because if, if Boji has a manga, that would probably disqualify it from this category. Yeah. Yeah, well, it is. Boji was a manga. Okay, that's... There, there you go. go. Yeah, so that's what did it. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, because there is no way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nope. See, that's a question you got to ask. Oh, no, you do. You do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, best film, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, 100%. Ooh. Yes. 100%. Okay. Yes. I haven't seen this, but I've, I've gotten like maybe five or six episodes into Jujutsu Kaisen. So that you could watch the movie without watching the show. I will say that. Okay. It'll make more sense if you watch the show. Certain questions that you've got about it would be answered without you having to worry about it, like how powers work, stuff like that. You know what I mean? But the right. character that they introduced is a brand new person. It's a random one-off person that they added to the squad that is not in the first two series. So, oh, okay, so it's just yeah. like a one. So you, it's a prequel. So, right, right, it's a prequel. So, um. Now, seeing him in there, and then it'll answer some questions. If you haven't watched the rest of it, seeing this and then going and watching the show, you'll pick up some pieces that you probably would not have picked up originally, if that makes sense. So, like, as you see certain people, you know, you see certain people get added in when you watch the show, and it's like, oh, I wonder what. And then you see this, it's like, oh, one of those moments. So That makes sense. Yeah. But no, this movie, I did not, I honestly, I watched it on a humbug. I was like, eh, I ain't got nothing else to watch. Let me try to throw it on real quick. When I say I got sucked in, like I already, I'm a huge JJK fan as it is. So I knew it was going to suck me in, but I was like, okay, how good is it going to be? It's like you watch a Naruto movie and it's like, right. it's good because it's Naruto, but how good is it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like dry. I think it's the same thing, but maybe... Throw Dragon Ball Super Superheroes yeah. to that category, yep. basically. Thing. Yep. Like it's exactly. cool, but if you, I mean, if you like the characters of the movie, hey. Right. Right. But this one is as a standalone. Like I actually got invested in this dude. Like I want to see them play his story out now. Like I can't wait for the regular characters to meet this guy because he's their senior. I believe right. he's going to end up being their senior. So. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that it was definitely I, I can agree, I, I can wholeheartedly agree with that. Of all the movies that came out this year, um, I wonder if Red's gonna be nominated next year, probably because it came out pretty late in the year, though. I don't think it will, I, it, it, just because of the singing, yeah. just because of the singing, I don't think yeah. it will. Yeah, you and a couple other people have been harping about singing <laughs> in that movie. I mean, it's cool, but I, I didn't come for a Disney movie. Right, I if that, that makes sense, I you know you're not that. you're not expecting that. We're we went from they're fighting uh, Kaido on a rooftop. My boy is about to go Gear Five or has in the manga to a Disney princess movie. Like <laughs> that's kind of what happened, <laughs> and so it throws it off a little. Sounds like a third my hero movie, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. Kind of. It's just like it. It's it's good. It's not a bad movie in any way. It's just I was not. This is not what I wanted. I was right not now. expecting it. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking I'm getting some lore. I'm thinking I'm getting some badass fights. You know, stuff like that. But nah, nah. Nah, I get that. I mean, I'm I've been catching up with the Boruto anime lately too. So I'm kind of like at the Boruto and Sasuke are teaming up to help them find like a new hawk or something like. Uh-huh. Okay, this is kind of cool. I kind of want to get to the current what now that they're back into the manga proper. Now I kind of want to just catch mm-hmm. up with those episodes. I'm like, you know what? The way the anime's been going, I'm just gonna you know just catch up on my own pace. Like I'm really right. in no rush to catch up with Boruto unless they get to two specific points in the manga. I don't want to go too further into detail, because especially with the manga's been going on recently. Mm-hmm. The manga's close. If you want to do Naruto terms, the manga is almost at the end of part one. So I'll say okay, that. Okay, gotcha. So they're kind of in this Sasuke retrieval arc right about now. Okay. So finishing up the tuning exams, about to go. Mm. Yeah. Go grab but, him. Okay. And then and then just 
Just a quick shout out to Naruto Hinata. They gone, but that's that's about it. As I'm gonna leave it at mm. that. Yeah, he, he had to take Hinata though. That was that was that was wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh no, this is no lie. <laughs> I see no lie. This, this is one. no lie. No, none at all. Best continuing series. I'm sorry, Monty. Not sorry is One Piece. Expect it, respect it, That's and call it a day. <laughs> you know, be interesting. I would say this right now. Uh, this ahead. one getting nominated for next year. I would say Pokemon Journeys, but I know it's going to probably be because they're switching over. It'd be nice to get like Pokemon win that next year, but I, I doubt that's going to happen. But that'd be nice. Continue. You know what? If so, it wouldn't win this one. I don't think. The only reason I don't think Pokemon will ever win because I think it should have won in general. But the only reason Pokemon will never win a continuous series is because they keep breaking up the arcs. Right. You know what I mean? Like you've got this region and then this region and this, and they made them as their own individual series versus letting it just run. Like, yeah, it's like not contrary like that. You had the cancel saga in the mm-hmm. orange Island, had Johto, you had Owen, Sinnoh, you know, mm-hmm. Kalos, Alola, and then Journeys. I mean, you didn't get a Galar, anyway, right? But you just got Journeys. Right. So as far as continuous, was... yeah, I mean, there really isn't, there's nothing, nothing I can think of that's out there that like, has continuously yeah. been hit after hit. Like, there have been some, like, you could say Dragon Ball has stood the test of time, yes. But again, we've got, it's like Pokemon, you've got different series of it. You know what I mean? Super, GT, Z, you know, they broke it down. Um the only other like anime, long standings. Only other I series I can really think of is like that's continuous right now. Is, uh, if you talk about continuous ongoing case close, that's probably another one. Case close off. would be a good one. It would be a good one. But a lot of people don't like they. So case the thing is, I, the reason why it would not win, like Conan or case close, or even Kenshin, even with Kenshin, the reason why I don't think it would come up against it is because of the age range of the people that are doing the surveys. Yeah. I'm going to be hundred percent. I'll be hundred percent. I love one piece to death, but I know good and well, if we, if we put one piece against some of the old heads that have similar length, one piece is going to come up as like top three, top four, but I don't think it's going to break top one every time. It's just yeah. not. It'll be in the you top know? five. It'll be in your top, top ten. Yeah. Easily, yeah. easily top five, easily top ten. You know what I mean? Um, but you got you've got like Sailor Moon that went for forever. You know what I mean? Um, classic all day, classic Pokemon itself. Like I said, if, if we put them all together, is a is a classic. It is this was one of those that it happens. Um, another long standing one was uh you said Conan. Conan's a good one. Um it's mm-hmm. the problem is the length, it's the body of work. Yeah, there aren't a lot that compete with that body of work. They're just not. It's a quality over quantity thing. It's it's right. an age old argument. I know. I I know. I mentioned this to some people. And, uh, I'll just throw a little sports in here for just for a quick second here. But but when, when we're talking about One Piece, it always come brings up the Jordan arguments with LeBron and Kobe. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I always say this with both Kobe and LeBron. No disrespect to their fans or anything, but. I think both of them stayed in the league too long and ruined the quality of their whole careers. Honestly, just my uh, honest opinion. I can see that. I can see and, that. Like I said, I know some people don't like hearing that, but I, personally, I think Kobe stayed too long. LeBron's almost – LeBron should have retired when he got that last title with um, Cleveland, honestly, my, my honest opinion. Mm. You know, just, my, just my honest opinion. That's just my opinion. But LeBron is waiting for Bronny Jr., to get drafted so he could play one season with him before he retires. That's what he's I believe it. He 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 literally says that this is what I'm waiting for to retire. As soon as he gets drafted, he's going to play one season and then he out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like, because I, and I will say, like I say, and as as much, as much love I have for one piece, that whole 10 minute extra piece would have cut our episode count down yeah. drastically. Almost yeah. drastically. You know what I mean? We're at what 1100? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
Yeah. Let me get a calculator real quick. At 10 minutes. They probably would have just had a thousand now, probably. They probably would have had a thousand this year. They probably easily take a hundred. Well, no, nah, I'd say five hundred. Because it didn't start until like halfway through. Okay. So we're looking at 83 hours, which would be roughly what? 40 episodes? Oh, that might, uh, yeah. no, I was close. I was kind of close. I said 100. I was kind of close. Yeah, 40 hours. Hour, no, 83 hours of it, which would be 160. My bad. 160. Yeah, okay. 166 episodes. I was the opposite way around. My bad. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, they would have been inching close to a thousand then. Right. They'd have just been getting to like 900. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon. You know? Yeah. Funny enough, Pokemon overall, what I think would have beat them by like a couple of weeks, would have beat them right. to a thousand. Right. So it, it's just, it's. I mean, that's one of those. There's just no arguments this year for continuing right. anime. It's not, there's not many continuing anime. Super there aren't. Bad. There aren't. That's and a lot thing. of and a lot of more popular ones are seasonal outside of Boruto. I think everything else is one of the more popular ones are seasonal. Now. Naruto would have Naruto would have been up there. How many total episodes were in Naruto? I think five. I think seven. So no, five hundred. Seven hundred. It was seven hundred. Not counting Boruto. Yeah. So seven. Yeah. Seven is some change. Including Shippuden? Yeah, yeah Shippuden is 500. And then okay. Yeah, so like 7, 780, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think Boruto, if you count Boruto, Naruto as a franchise has passed a thousand already. Right. And see, that's that's the thing. Like if we're talking franchise work, that's one thing. But if we're talking by series, one piece takes it. That and like yeah. that, that that's where it comes down to the like the specifics of the of the category, I think. Yeah, this is a good. This is a a lot of other anime type um sh- um rewards need to, need to bring this category into play. That's a that's a good category. Mm-hmm. With something like One Piece or Case Closed or you know Long Runners. There's not many Long Runners right. these days, but they need a um, best continuing seasonal. Then that'd be a good debate one. That'd be a good debate. See, one. right, right, right. Uh, this one was the best new series with Spy Family. No lie there, uh, no argument. I can't so. argue. I can't. Nah, all. I can't argue that one at all. Um, yeah, Anya is is great. <laughs> Anya is great. <laughs> just is protect, is. Ari, protect Anya and Aria at all costs. Let's and of course, here we go. Anya must protect at all costs character of 2023 <laughs> is <Facts>. Anya. <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Very true. Um, and then best romance. Yes, Kaguya Sama. The fact that they won, I was happy. I was so happy. Uh, Love is War is an amazing little goofy rom com. I love it to death. Um, but yeah, I think they they definitely took this one easily. Easy money. Oh, yeah, that Kaguya. was easy money for them. Yeah, Kaguya. Jumbo said Castlevania and Inuyasha, but they're not long no. standing. Yeah, Castlevania only got four seasons. Yeah, it's seasonal. So, it just it kind of would defeat our point. We were just talk about long, like all the good. It was also proved my point. A lot of the good uh, animation stuff is seasonal nowadays. So, mm-hmm. he's more in Castlevania. Uh, and then best voice actor performance went to the guy who played Jaeger. Oh, he's talking about Castlevania for the best new series. When did it come out though? I thought 20, Castlevania was like twenty twenty two. It's, it's four seasons. I want to say like 18. Yeah, it was like 18, 19, yeah. and, then, and then they had a two seasons back to back. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Aaron 17. Yeager. Yeah. So it's not it's not new. That's the only thing. Uh yeah. And then yeah, Aaron's voice actor. Yeah, because uh, that was that was a plot time. twist. That was like one of the best plot twists I've seen since Full Metal Alchemist. That was a good plot twist. That was a very yeah. I agree. That was a very good analysis of that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And here probably, you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna probably end up finishing the tackle. Oh, you good, just, Jumbo? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna finish. I, you know, I'm gonna just wait till the last season come out. I'm gonna just finish. I'm gonna binge it in one shot. Just finish it off. Binge one it shot. in one shot. I feel that. Yeah, that. that was that was such a good turn. I want to I want to respect the twist and just I, I'd rather wait for everything to come out. Honestly. 
But you um, know what? Oh, Look at me. This one's for you, Rod. Yeah, Sakamoto Wiz. Me and you, I mean, I got you on the Sakamoto Wiz. Yeah. This thing yeah. did. This, you did. I cannot wait for this to be animated, but I'm mm. glad it's getting some love in other countries. This is, I think this is, oh, was yeah. the top five in France. In France, yep. Top five in France. The fact that it topped Neil, uh, Neil Genesis Evangelion, you know it's got to be. It's got to be on point. So, yeah, this is getting some love. It, it hasn't gotten an anime, and I'm still kind of sad about that because I feel like this is a hit in the making. I've been following Sakamoto Day since day one. I've been a day one reader. Okay. I'm just scared. I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those, like, it's like if you know, you know, but you don't want people right. to knowing this one. If they do it wrong, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be yeah. so mad. Who would you yeah. want? What studio yeah, would you want to do it? it? Honestly, I would say MAPPA. Actually, MAPPA I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> Where <laughs> I was like, I don't think Mapple would mess this one up. I don't. I mean, I don't. you see what However, they've been doing with you've seen, you've seen what they've been, been doing with, with season six of my hero. So right, I, right. However, just... hear me out on this one. Okay. I want to throw a curveball. Okay. I want Dart to do it. The brothers from Philly. You to do Sakamoto? Yes. Oh, you know what? I don't mind that. That, like, I, I think they would do good with it. Like, <laughs> you know what? Giving an up and coming anime student an up and coming manga a shot anime? like that together, right? Like, just I see what you're doing. See there. what happens. I see, I see what you're doing there. So, I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, but I mean, whoever gets it, I just hope, I hope that they do it well. Yeah, this is a very this the story's getting better. That's the thing. Like when you look at the premise of it, it's like oh yeah, oh, it's just it's you think, oh, it's just a, a fat guy, it's just a fat retired assassin running a convenience store, but then as you peel the layers first, back, first chapter was enough to go hard. Like <laughs> the first chapter was enough to go hard. If you don't get hooked off the first chapter of the manga, just drop it, call it a day. Like it just ain't for you. Like the man. Oh yeah, yeah. Sakamoto and his crew, like Assassin's Creed, oh, yeah. convenience. It writes itself. It honestly writes itself. Mm-hmm. Like that's it's just like our... the one. The uh, was the, the Yakuza babysitter anime? Have you seen that one? No, I might. I might have to. You might have to send me. Oh, you gotta look that one up. It's like the Yakuza. It's basically the Yakuza. The boss's kid is being babysat by like the most vicious dude in. In the crew, <laughs> that's why you see that high. right. You see that both, like you see the soft side of him, you see the you know, the other side of him. You see him out there ruthlessly killing dudes, and then he comes back in and is talking to the little girl. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh my god, you know what I've just thought of right now? <laughs> I'm thinking of In Too Deep, that scene where um, LO Cool J and uh, Omar Elts was driving around yes. and the baby in the car. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that is it. That is, no, that's Buddy Daddies. That is Buddy Daddies, 100%. Oh, <laughs> okay, let me write that down. Buddy Daddies, I gotta get to some of these. Yeah, monks. Buddy Daddies is hilarious. That so that's that one's like that too. Yeah, let me write that down. Buddy Daddies and Yakuza yep. Babysitter. Let me write those two down. Yes, yes. Um, down. Buddy Daddy, Yakuza Babysitter. Okay, write that down. Now we were talking about Demon Slayer earlier, and I hate to bring this up, but it's something I feel like needs to be talked about. Oh, this again. Yes, so Nezuko's voice oh. actress, I guess, was losing <laughs> followers because she they found out she had a boyfriend. They and do that every time. Yes, it's that Japan idol. Is... I guess that idol mentality. I don't understand. You know that they've got that culture. Like I understand, but I don't understand. Right. Yeah, that is definitely a Japan only thing. I I don't get it, the but actresses are allowed to have lives outside of their fucking anime. But yeah. again, culturally, you gotta remember the, the idol culture over there. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I know if there's I anything you. that takes away from it. Yeah. I'm like it's the yeah. fantasy. It is. I, it is. I think I got a good analogy for this. I think I got a good one. Rihanna. What? It's like if Rihanna was voicing the an anime character, uh, kind of and then all she's doing now is Fenty. Like, I want to see Rihanna sing it again. But she's just doing fashion. Right. I'm not sure. That's the best analogy I can think of. It just popped in my head right now. I mean, definitely something close to that. I definitely see. I can definitely see that being 
uh, close com- uh, comparison to that because you she may lose. It's not that her music lost it, lost followers, but what she's doing now is going to lose followers. You know what I mean? And then she starts mm-hmm. making music again. Then those people would come back more than likely. Um, in this situation, if she no longer had a boyfriend, then you know yeah. what I mean. They won't love her again. They would come back again. Like it's. I think it's odd. But again, we're look. We're also have to make sure we we take into consideration. We are looking at it from a Western perspective, right? You know yeah. what I mean. Um, it's it's a purely Western perspective where we are like these are these are actors with their own lives. They are allowed to. You know what I mean. It's not gonna stop me from thinking she's cute because she got to right. do. It's not. Well, she you know. Is. She is cute. I mean, she's I mean, a cute she young is, lady. She's a but cute young I'm lady. just saying in general. You know what I mean? Like as far as like our our musical idols you know what i mean people ain't gonna stop trying to lust after cardi b because she's dating somebody it, depending mm. on who it is it might make it make them want to do it more you know what i'm saying it's just right it's or just culture. like you know what it is I, I, I think i thought of a better now beyonce with jay-z that's that's the better analogy uh, actually. yeah 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 no, like, be, her being with jay is not gonna stop us from being like that's still beyonce like <laughs> he back. I mean, he got her, but I mean, we, we still gonna right, look. right, gonna look. right. But was like I'm, or yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, an, another similar thing, actually, plaguing Demon Slayer, which they've got a couple different situations right now. Is uh, oh, Tomiko's yeah, I heard about this. Um, he's losing. He's been losing multiple projects back to back to back. And they they said part of it was, I guess, one of them that he was supposed to be working on was a period piece. And they were like, well, technically in this era, it was more woman based area. So he, he really, really fit. But the dude had been in there for like 12 seasons already. So y'all just gonna automatically just up and change him. The That's thing awesome. is, a few months ago, I guess it came out that he was he had a 10 year affair with one of the staff members at one of the radio stations and also mm-hmm. a wife on the side. Like uh, he was being pinky. Okay, got it. He was being pinky. Right, right. And so when that I came out, found? yeah, he had a hidden wife, and then he had a twelve year, ten year affair with one of the staff members at the radio station. Yo, know, when the wife is the side piece is crazy. Right. <laughs> you know what? Right. Now I'm thinking about it. The wife might have been the side piece. Don't get me wrong, but think about it. if he was really having an affair with someone in a radio capacity. That's probably a breach of um, conflict of interest. That's probably mm-hmm. more than likely why it was. Uh, it's conflict of interest. You can be a voice actor, yeah. but then be chummy with with radio. It's like it's like it's payola, pretty much. Exactly, it's, it's payola. Exactly. So that was that. But they say they were saying, "Oh, this is why we let him go." But then right before that, this came out. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So it was like. Mm, but was it really why it came out? Because you know, oddly, oddly convenient. That's one way to get right. rid of somebody. Right, right, right. So, so that is that's kind of what where I was going with that one. Um, yeah. And then we had some criticism by DBZ also recently, which this, this one, one right here blows people. my mind. This is oh, smack. That's smacking. DBZ has. Since its inception, since yeah. Dragon Ball Thanks. had some of the most iconically women. badass fighting women, right? From Jump, we're talking about like remember Launch? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember Launch? Yeah. Like, like they should bring her back for Super Honest. That's why they didn't do a slice of life with Launch. Uh, that they bring awesome. if they bring Launch back. It's a whole problem. It's a whole problem because I just want to see I want to see Android I want to see eighteen and launch go at it over Krillin. That's all I want to see. <laughs> Yo, that would be funny. That would be. I want to see his triangle. Oh, and Mirren. I want to see his his triangle of X's go against eighteen. <laughs> That's like a slice of. I I don't know. I know people like. I would love to just have a slice of like Dragon Ball series. Same thing that with would Naruto. I would. I I, I wish Boruto did. I hate, Jay's right about this with, with this one asset of Boruto. I wish it didn't exist because I'd rather just have a slice of like Naruto series as a sequel. It would have been, a... dude. We all wanted them to just grow up and be adults. Like that's all we yeah. wanted. <laughs> that was it. 
Let them let them live at least a good two years after the war. We just want to see them recreate the countries. You know what I mean? Think about like all the side stuff that him and Gara and Killer B would have had to talk about. You know what I mean? On some random humbug trying to fix everything. Hey, that would that, that would that would have been the right direction, honestly. But going back to this, I mean, I guess this person didn't see superhero because Videl has her own dojo now. And right. Android, and Android 18, she's she's taking care of her child. She's doing what most mothers do. She take care, she take care of her little one. Nothing wrong with that. Right. Not only that, not only that, but Bulma, since day one, outside of being a phenomenal mother, has ran, she's been Elon Musk since day yes. one. <laughs> Yeah. Elon Musk was trying to be like Boma. Let's just say right. that. pretty much like she took Steve Jobs and Elon Musk, put them together. That is Boma. <laughs> After her dad, and her dad didn't even pass. He was just like, Here, you want this? Here, go ahead and finish yeah, it. Legit. Like, <laughs> like dad's still alive, enjoying time with his grandkids and the family grandkids. Because that's what it is. That like they just need a compound. I don't know why they don't at this point. Like, I understand everybody got their own crib in Dragon Ball. But they just needed a compound. They just need a capsule core compound and just have all four of them families live on the compound. <laughs> because that would be hilarious. That'd be a hilarious show. See, think about no it. Slice of life. Can you imagine slice of life with just like Goku, Vegeta, all of <laughs> have Chi Chi be the mom. Have Chi Chi be uh have Chi Chi be like the house mother and have her have them all homeschooled and have Chi Chi be the one teaching them. <laughs> so you got yeah. little trunks. <laughs> all of it missed sense. opportunity, missed opportunity, missed right opportunities, well. exactly. But I mean, at least oh, Ghost man. and the Trucks are grown up now, so hopefully we get past true. the museum eventually. True, true, true. Um, so yeah, that was that. I, I wanted to at least touch on it that real quick because it was just like for real though. Like, hey, are you paying uh, attention to the series, dog? Yeah. Like, right? Are we looking at the same thing? Because yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Oh. Oh yeah, go back to that. Go back to that other picture. That's a good one to talk about. Go back. Uh, this one. Yeah, we should have mentioned this when we talk about One Piece, but I thought yeah, I thought we be. talked about it last week, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this should be interesting. Boruto versus Kawa. Okay, this is what I was alluding to earlier because this is their, this is their part one fight. Mm-hmm. So the Valley of the End. So they have they have two fights, kind of similar mm. to what. So that this is gonna be the Sasuke retrieval arc fight. Remember the. Uh, when Naruto and Sasuke fought at the with the water tower, that's that fight. Uh-huh. Consider it that fight. Oh, okay. Then they're doing some other stuff. The manga just finished like the Sasuke retrieval setup. Now they're doing the they're trying to like I said, Kawaki pretty much kidnapped Naruto and Hinata. So I'm just gonna keep it a buck. He pretty much he sealed them away and kidnapped them. Now gotcha, everybody gotcha. trying to and uh, Kawaki just dipped and they can't find him. Man took the Hokage and his wife and just dipped. Oh dang. Like you want, he want the smoke, but he's like, but the main thing Clearly. is, smoke. yeah, Kawa, he's like, he's a fanboy of Naruto, but he's, but he just wants to protect Naruto, but he's just going about it the wrong way, right? He's, right. He right. don't want nobody to mark. He don't want. He sees Naruto as his hero. He don't want to see his hero fall. He's like, yeah. um, he's like Syndrome from um, uh, The Incredibles. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, god. gotcha. I just thought about that right now. Oh my god, that actually makes sense. Boruto makes a whole lot more sense now. Oh my god! You know what? <laughs> but I mean, this, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't see it that way. So I just thought about it. But Gear Five, I'm kind of looking forward to this too myself, even though I'm not. Oh, I'm, looking, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hell yeah, I can't wait. Most I mean, deaf, most deaf. Although, which one I'm going to be watching initially? I'm definitely going to watch Gear Five before I watch Boruto. That's just me. Of course. I'm me too. <laughs> Even if like, I'm not caught up yet in that, yes, I'm jumping yeah, to that episode. I'm jumping to that one just to see the fight because, yeah, like seeing him unleash, like seeing him unleash the the new hawk, new forms of hockey and stuff. I'm just waiting for it now. I'm just yeah. I mean, it's from pretty much from what you and some other people so I mean, Luffy pretty much has tune force at that point. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean he's a rubber man for crying out loud. He basically turns into Roger Rabbit, is what it looks like. That's what I'm hearing. Well, if, if he legit has something similar to Toon Force, no anime character can touch Luffy. I'll say that at right that now. point, right? <laughs> at that point, it's a wrap. Like, here's my thing: if he can, if he learns how to bounce energy beams like he does bullets, it's over. Oh, nobody's touching him. 
Only people that can you know beat what I'm saying. Beat. The only like, people that can, only people that can beat him is like Saitama and Popeye. That's it. It maybe, maybe. Think about it, because all he's gonna do is if you punch a rubber, it's boy, it's just gonna go in and come back out. It's not gonna do nothing. Damn, I kind of want to see Luffy versus Popeye now. <laughs> I kind of want to see that fight. <laughs> No way, that's legit too. Because Popeye is a sailor; he's a marine. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh my god, that is actually Popeye legit. Is. That could actually happen. Yeah. Yo, they wait. Should, we might be on something here, in, dude. Oda should bring in a Popeye. Ver- have we heard it? Wait, wait. Have we seen any characters that look like Popeye the Marines yet? Mm-mm. I'm surprised no, Oda hasn't done have. that. I'm surprised Oda hasn't done that yet. It would Garp would have to be the closest thing to Popeye. Yeah. Yep, I can see that. I would say Garp is the closest thing to Popeye. Yeah. We gotta pin we gotta talk, pin that. We gotta come back to that conversation. All right, day. we have to come back to that one. <laughs> we need Jay here for that um, one. <laughs> we definitely yeah, we, yeah, we do definitely, definitely. Um, real quick, I uh, wanted to do a quick recap for Sailor Moon. There are they got all 200 episodes. From Pretty Guardian and Sailor Moon, all the episodes from Pretty Guardian and Sailor Moon Crystal, as Ooh. well as uh, Sailor Moon R, the movie, the, move, the S movie, and the S Super movie um, are all going to be on there as well. So oh, that's, that's I forgot up. to throw that in there earlier for y'all who are Sailor Moon fans or want to catch up and realize who the true strongest person in the anime verse is. <laughs> Not Goku. Yep, I said it. Not Goku. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while. It took me. It took a while to learn that one. But can she beat Vegeta? Now nah, let me stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. See, see. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna be nice. Give Queen Usagi her, her, her crown. I'm gonna give, give it her. Give her her props. Thank you. That's Thank true. you. So, but yeah, for those who don't know the true power of Sailor Moon, I'm gonna need y'all to go watch. It's. I'm not gonna lie. I'm. A, and I'm. A, this. This is a bit of a take, but. I will even honestly put the Zodiac sign Saints up there with Saint Seiya. Oh, yes. I can see that. I can see that. I, I can see that. I'm not gonna say they're gonna beat them every time, but I definitely put them up there right under Sailor Moon. So maybe like a six out of maybe out of ten times, maybe six out of right. six out of six out of ten. Yeah. Now they'll probably win four out of ten against Sailor Moon, but <laughs> it'd be a good fight. But it'd against Goku, fight. I think it's a 50-50. Right, so uh, definitely someone to pin. Like that's another one we need to pin. Oh yeah, definitely conversation to pin. Um, actually, I might have somebody we can get have pull a guest on for that one for that Saint Seiya conversation. So oh, okay, bet. So that'll be good. Yeah. Um. Also, Disney to launch an anime collection. Everybody get your VPN together because it will not be available to us in the U.S. <laughs> so keep in mind, but uh, yeah, it will not be available to us in the U.S., unfortunately. Uh, but they will start to do that. They've already got, as we've been talking about, they've been collecting rights for different shows this entire time. So they're going to start their own anime collection. Right, right. Never doubt the mouse. Never doubt the mouse. Never doubt the mouse. Never. However... This actually brings me to a very good segue. Um, there is, and I didn't pull images for this one. So if y'all want images, I can. I I didn't feel right pulling them though. And here's why. <laughs> Don't judge me on this, y'all. All right, it's a judgment. One of zone. y'all, it's a judgment free zone. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm it's a judgment free zone for us I'm until we judge get judged you. because it's us, y'all, all viewers. This is always a judgment free zone. But amongst us, oh, we're gonna judge oh, each other. Oh, it's, it's, oh, we're boys. <laughs> yeah, we boys. We're gonna judge each other. Um, there is a link that y'all sent out about shows that are not viewed in different countries. It was 15 animes that are banned in certain places. Um, it actually it was pulled up on Anime Senpai, is where we were looking at it. And I kind of did some research afterwards just to double check on some of them. And yeah, most of these are legit not allowed (laughs) in these countries. Um, A lot of the reasons are for sexual content and things of that nature. Um, Some of them 
have pedophilia, which makes sense. Understandable. Uh, so I can't, you know, I didn't pull images because of I don't know how safe how 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 I feel about even promoting some of them. Just, you know what I mean? If that yeah. makes sense. Um but yeah, so a couple that I will I will list off a couple though that I thought were unique. Um so outside of those that were like I said had pedophilic or you know just kind of off the wall not cool topics. Uh one was record of Ragnarok. And Ooh, why? India India does not allow it in there because it does not depict their God correctly, oh, they said. Probably, yeah, that's oh, right. that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. So uh, the president of the Universal Society of Hinduism mm-hmm. banned the anime for disrespecting their deity in the anime series. So it was actually removed from Netflix in India also. Um, oh, AOT, that makes sense. That makes sense. China removed it. Ooh. For being too gruesome for children. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, because when the first episode the dude gets bit in half within five minutes, yeah. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I can respect that. I, I can respect that. Although I know a lot more violent anime that I've heard they allow. So I could don't be the know. shock, could be the shock value. I, mean, I think the shock to... value. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, Hitalia, Axis Power. I don't know if so, some of you all know that one. Uh, it's an older one, but they had the offensive language uh, in South Korea um, uh-huh. was not allowed. The offensive, like, offensive image of the country for mm. South Korea. Oh, yeah, they, they don't play. Like. Both. Yeah, they don't they, play. Yeah, stuff like that. South Korea does not play. Um, what was it? Muscle, muscle, ultimate muscle. Yes. Kenny um, Kuhlman. Muscle. Kenny Kuhlman, uh, which is ultimate muscle. I couldn't remember. Um, wrong image of Nazis. France does not allow it. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, Germany doesn't yeah. allow Nazi imagery either, so that makes sense. Yeah, so they gave they made him like, well, they made him in the show, they made him as this sympathetic individual, blah, 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 and they're like, no, nah, that's oh, not man. how this works. Mm-mm. So they was like, no, nah, we're going to cut that. Um, Pokemon is not allowed in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Wonder why that's a good mm, interesting for promoting Christianity and Zionism. Oh, here is the hilarious part. Do y'all remember here in America, Christian churches were trying to ban Pokemon, yeah. talking about it was demonic. <laughs> oh, I wasn't Catholic soon when they came out. Oh, I definitely remember those. So you have one country saying it's promoting Christianity, you have Another country with Christians saying that it's demonic. Yeah, I'm gonna need everybody to just like the show. It's a show. Right. <laughs> it's a kid show. <laughs> like, it's a kid show. I don't. I don't see it promoting any Christianity on it. There's not even like any Pokemon that are holy. So it's just like I don't get that one. Hey, what up, Jay? Hey, Jay. Hey, we can't hear you, bro. There he is. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. No. Uh, <laughs> not. Yes, we hear you. Yeah. 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 Oh, we had like a, a mini impromptu date night. That's all good. And uh, hold on, they can't see your background. Hey. Come, come, hold on. Hey, lady, hey, how you doing? Hello. Hey. 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 Mm, I got out of the way. No, what up? What up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So what I miss? I know I missed that. Uh. Well, right now we're going through 15 anime that are banned Dance. in certain countries. And well, I love those out here, King Bulger. He's not banned nowhere. He's awesome. <laughs> So I don't think I saw that on the list, but if it is, I'm gonna laugh at you. <laughs> it better not be on the list. If it's on the list, I'm gonna country like I'm George W. Bush. Oh no. <laughs> you a mess. Uh but no, we were talking about the whole uh Pokemon is blocked in Saudi Arabia. They were saying because it uh promoted Christianity, but then we had Christians in, in America 
trying to ban Pokemon because they said it promoted demonism and demonic stuff. So I'm like, I- I'm gonna need everybody to like rearrange their thought patterns. Yo, that, that's that's hilarious, <laughs> right? And it, right. it'll be funny if um uh, inside of Ray be like, oh, so y'all don't. Pokemon. Okay, y'all can bring Pokemon over here. <laughs> right, right. That'd be that'd be insane. Um, last hero, Inu- Inuashiki. Um, lack of age restriction. Mm. I don't know what that means, but Russia doesn't allow it for lack of age restriction. Mm. Um, despite the for the level of gore, it's the one where the dude walks around pointing his finger at people and shooting, and they actually get shot. Oh, never heard of that one. Yeah, mm. yeah. But due to the gore, there's no age restriction on it. There's a problem. Um, high school D and D. New Zealand fan service is a fan service only New Zealand though for explicit huh. nudity. I mean, Everybody else don't care. Like, what you expect? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because check this out: how not to summon a demon lord, right? Yeah. Same reason, explicit nudity. But Australia is the only place that doesn't allow it. Make oh, that man. make sense. Australia. Well, New Zealand is one, honest, Australia is the other. So to be honest, I think high school DHD is worse than it is. Than, That's what it's I'm way saying. worse. But it's way worse. <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna that yeah, that don't make no sense. You can you're gonna ban fucking um how to train, how to summon a demon lord, but not how to do it, right? Because they like they like redheads. That's all it is. That's probably what it was. Uh, they like redheads. Um, Shin Chan. Yo, that should be banned in America. Children. Yes, that should that. be banned in America. That it should have been, been, but it's only banned in <laughs> India. Ooh, I wonder why. So, for nudity and bad influences on children. Oh no! Why aren't you watching this little boy dance with his meter? Um, <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul. Ooh, Where? Ready? Where? Russia. Okay. Not surprising. Not surprising. Banned in Russia for cannibalism and gore. I think that'd be gore. Um, Death Note. Okay. Hmm. China. That uh, one's kind of a given. Obvious. No, that's probably obvious why. Those kids be going to school. Um, Death Note. Voltron. That's- Voltron or Voltez V, we all know Voltron. Oh. Mm-hmm. The Philippines because it promotes violence. I mean, they just they just been all anime, I guess, because they can't watch Dragon Ball Z, they can't watch um, Naruto, they can't watch one. Uh huh. Uh-huh. This one they only have to watch Ham Toro. Look, maybe if, no, they got Leave Bananian. Him Leave they got Bananian. Yeah. Um, kite. Y'all remember kite from back in the day? Yeah. Um, yeah. Norway. Oh, Norway yeah. for sexual and violent content. But they don't have high school. D- right, right. But they didn't ban high school DD. Right, right. Exactly. Exactly. They like see. They like harem anime. You look. You can tell like what type of anime they like by what they ban. Like, oh, you ban this for so, this, but you watch this. So here's my question. Here's the real question. If we went and checked. The types of pornography that were listed on the in those areas in those countries as the highest would it match the types of anime that were or were not allowed? Possibly. I got five. I got five on it right now. <laughs> not five. So just to throw out there, just something to throw out there on that. No, uh, it's funny. Yeah. I mean, you you bring that up. Think about some of the more. If you look at the most popular porns in the U.S. and you see what laws are banned in those states, it kind of mm-hmm. does match up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, um, that... Yeah, so that was like a just a whole random like, oh, great, wonderful, interesting. <laughs> uh, Mashal. Finally, we have a um, to get the day trailer. Oh, yeah. We got a trailer. I'm going to pull it up here for y'all real quick. Like, give me just a moment. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Antiplex. Yeah, and Antiplex is doing it too. So you already know. Oh, that's who grabbed it? Oh, oh, that. 
We were talking about Sacramento Day. That'd be probably another one that did. Oh, uh, that's a yeah, and a place would be great. Love that sound. Oh, of course. You just know stuff's gonna go right. Shukurim. みんなが当たり前のように食リムの日常にある世界。食リムは神から与えられたものとされ、食リムの功績によって身分が決まる。そんな世界。じいちゃんと平和に食リムを食べる。そんな当たり前のことも今日の課題もシュークリームだ。任せてよ。マシュ君は障害ないですね。そんなそんなところも好きですよ、私は。さてと。そろそろ。人筋肉動かしますか。マッシュル。ですです、ガスコンビファイ。マッシュル。そう。そう、I got to throw this out there. This man is a Gym rat in a world of magic who has no magical aptitude. <laughs> so, in other words, he's a quiet Oscar. Yes, yes, exactly. So it's gonna be interesting. And his dad, his granddad, I think, is like the strongest wizard ever. Mm. And he was the one who started him training mm. at a young age. Like, you ain't got no magic, bro. I'm gonna need you to go hit these weights. <laughs> so, so he's Oscar and Rock Lee. Right. Pretty much. <laughs> right. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, so quick next question. month, that, I can't wait. Debate? No. Oh, wait. Jay did, did ask him. He missed earlier. We did get two announcements. You missed one. There's gonna be Dragon Ball Tenkaichi 4 coming out. I know. I know. And Ninja Storm. Okay, yep, just, yep. The and, then have, and then we got announced also with Pokemon. Uh, the next seven star race is going to be Decidueye. Mm. We're going to have to tackle that one. I'm, I'm going to give him a Pokemon ready. I haven't played in a couple. I, I went and played uh, Pokemon Day to Catch the Two, and I just haven't been able to play. I, might, I actually got my cash card so I can connect to my um my Switch now and you know stream it. Oh, so. Okay. Let me know how that goes. I, I got it in my card, but let me know how that goes. Oh uh, man, actually, after this, I'm I'm probably gonna get on Hogwarts for about an hour or two. Um, I did a, a key mission while I wasn't like I did a mission that I should have did on stream, off stream. I'm like, oh, I should do on stream. It was actually a good mission. <laughs> oh man, I hate when that happens. Like I've been streaming Octopath and I lost part two of my um series. I can't find it. But yeah, I gotta so figure good. out this restream uh, with the capture card. It's kind of I don't like where, where it sets my camera. At. I like it my camera on the left side, not the right side. But... Mm. Well, we'll go through some of that stuff later. Um, Rimru is back. Yes, sir. The goat behind the goat. It's only two goats, and Rimru is one of them. The other one is both. <laughs> <laughs> So it's supposed to be coming out this year, this spring. Season three is supposed to be coming out. So keep an eye for that. Now that he's here, I want to go ahead and hit uh, the Black Excellence piece before we go too much deeper. Because I, I told you I want to hit at least one of them every time we have a show. Because Black History Month is not just one month a year. That's right. It's every month, every year. Amen. All day. day. All right. Every day. <laughs> right. All day. Every day. Um by first with the fans. by myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. With the collective, we all in this anyway. <laughs> it ain't no individual stuff. We ain't doing this individual no more. We're doing this together. We got this. Take the tribe. Community. Get down, Get down and lay down. 
Get down. Stay down. Exactly. All 10 toes. Mm. <laughs> uh, first one I want to throw out there was Miss Margaret Avery. This is just black don't crack. I had to throw it out black there. Uh, <laughs> she's 79. Bring, bring, she's still bring, looking bring. amazing. Uh, from Color Purple. She, you know what I'm saying? She's out there doing her thing still. Still living life uh, large and lovely. So this is just more of a black don't crack piece I want to throw out there because, yeah, why not? It is what it oh, is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, with that, I want to go to, I want to hit in some sports. Uh, Fisk University has now its first, let me see if I got the right one here. Nope, not that one. Not that Where one. is it? Well, not this that. is her, but we'll go into the rest of it later. So this is Corinne Tarver. She is the current coach of Fisk University's first historically uh, all-women's gymnastics team. So it's first age. First HBU with a women's gymnastics team. She is the coach. The biggest piece of this, not just that, right? Not this is the first HBCU. That's that's a one huge thing all in itself, right? She was the first black gymnast to win the NCAA all around national championship back in 1987. Wow. Wow. Nice. All right. She. Ended up being, uh, looks like she went to, let's see here, Talladega College in Alabama. Um, and then she was the first African-American member of the Georgia Gym Dogs back hmm. then. Um, also, she is a nine-time All-American in gymnastics. And in 05, she was inducted into UGA Athletics Association Circle of Honor. Um, okay. And now she is coaching the first HBCU women's gymnastics team as well. So excellent. Shout out to her and them. Rup, say it again. Excellent. Excellence upon excellence upon upon excellence. Exactly. HBC. And that's surprising. You would think (coughs) you would think HBCUs would have that sort of team. Uh You would think. You would think, but no, no. Uh, so that's that part there. Um, Howard University, their swim team just uh, won. I don't have an image for them. I apologize, but uh, they have they win the first NEC men's swimming and diving competition. Uh, the Bison have the only all black college swim team in the country right now. When I say Break they the blew them out, pipes. they had so here's they got 928 points in this competition, right? Mm-hmm. The closest person to them was 169 points behind the closest Damn. team. So uh, one of the seniors, Miles Simmons, earned swimmer of the meet honors after breaking a record in the 200-meter individual. Uh, he also won the 100 and 200 backstroke competitions that time. And then Niles Rankin uh, also earned his first medal of the championship week after finishing second with a time of 2 minutes, 2 seconds, 91 and Jordan Walker set a new meet record in the three meter dive, also. So, mm. boys out here doing their thing, doing mm-hmm. their is breaking stereotypes um, and records, right? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, I have Mr. Daryl Davis. This is an, an, an older gentleman of our clan, of our uh, our camaraderie. He the best way to put this, he's a musician. I mean, he played with Chuck Berry. He played with B.B. King. He played with uh, Muddy Waters. But he is known not only just for that, but he would befriend KKK members. And in doing so and showing them, yo, we the same. We humans, we're people, we're the same. Uh, He actually ended up bringing around 200 Klansmen to turn in their hoods and change their lives. Um, hmm. and they brought him to him specifically, you know what I mean? And turned him into him. Uh, that's kind of something he's been doing over time, years to year, grand, from Grand Wizards on down. So uh, dude's name is Daryl Davis, definitely someone who's making changes within the community across the board. Um, so, yeah, just some. if you don't know the name, somebody, everybody I think needs to know that name. That is the All definition right. of black excellence on the whole other level. Oh yeah, that's a, you doing you doing the work? That's walking into the lion's den. 
He wanted that's to smoke. So, that's a dragon. Oh, yeah. Right that's right. Oh, right. Okay. Um, another thing I want to talk about just briefly. Mackie is doing his own studio. So shout outs to him. He's got 20 acres out in New Orleans recently. So <laughs> hey, shout, out. shout out to Clarence. And <laughs> shout out hey. to Clarence. But hey, I, I just keep remember like I like two days ago I was watching a video of him and Tom Holland going back and forth. And he oh, like he yeah. hadn't seen the Spider-Man movie. And Tom Holland, I ain't seen no wait. You don't have one. <laughs> you don't have a fuck, right? <laughs> yeah, they were petty with each other. They oh, were extra petty he, with hey, each other. So I he, had he had to get his own studio. He had to get his own to get him a movie. He did. He did. <laughs> this is the gymnastics team. I'm sorry. I, I was looking for the picture. I couldn't find it, but I had to put it up once I found it. These are the ladies of Fist Gymnastics team. So, mm. shout out. Uh, this next That's one here, I'm proud of. Gentlemen in the pro riding league, all advanced to the semifinals. Um, for those who don't know what it is, it's tie downs. Uh, Corey Solomon is currently 24th in the world. Uh, King Pickett, 37. John Dosh is 33rd. Shad, I believe, is right under Corey. Let me double check that number, though. I think Shad is there were, there were definitely some country boy names right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, here. maybe not Chad. I mean, Chad seems no, the most normal is out of the box. Uh, He's number five. Shad is it, number five in the world. Is it Chad or Shad? Chad, S H. Chad, like Bow. Like, probably like Bow. Uh, what's the last like name? Shadrick. Yeah, yeah. Shad Moss. What's the last name? Shad Mayfield. Mayfield. Yeah, that's that's country, bro. The Mayfield. <laughs> Mayfield <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's number five in the uh, number five in the world right now. Uh, mm-hmm. For those who do not know what it is, I'm going to show y'all a quick video of what roping is. This is actually Corey Solomon that you're going to see. Uh, and it's about the speed of roping and tying a cat. Right here, the Snake River Stampede champion. You know, for a guy that's been seven five and, and this seven was last one, year. nine one would seem easy. But the luck of the draw, what calf did he draw? Good oh, he got a good one. one. He got a good one. Look out, everybody. Look out. The look on that he cow's face. Wait, was that seven seconds? Oh, Yo, run that again, bro. bro. That shit was too fast, man. Are you <laughs> ready? Man's at ultra instinct. Don't rewind it. One. Yo, fake. Nine one would seem easy. But the luck of the draw. What calf did he draw? Oh, good he one, got a good one. one. He got a good one. Look out, everybody. He Look out. He just tossed him. He wants the round two. Yeah, I, I, I would just Man. go home after that. I would just go home after that. That was so fun. Well, he's gonna split the go around. Hey, hey. why well, would he when he pulled him up on the screen? The first thing popped in my head in the eyes of the ranger. That's what yeah, that is what roping is. is. So, for those who didn't know, that gave you a general idea of kind of what it looks like. Uh, but these men, like I said, Shad was number five in the world. Corey is number 24, which is who we're just looking right there in the world right now. Uh, they all made this year's, they just made it to the semifinals. So we'll see where they where they rank at this year after it's all said and done. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. They're going to bring, bring home the gold. Side note, oh, no, they play for money. They play for money. Go like, on like, bring and home I mean, the bands. Bro, when I say money, money, money. Like mm. I ain't realize how much money is in roping. Let me go find me a rope, man. Can I use this? It made me want to go out myself. Hold on. Oh, man. Use Six figures, seven me, figures. Let me start practicing. Uh, right. well, let's see here. Career earnings right now for Shad seven hundred ninety-five thousand. Who raised over a million? A year? Yeah, a, a year. Hold on. Yeah. Let me shoot. Yeah, earnings for 2022 66 no 269 this is earnings for 2022 uh yeah yeah won Ain't his first worked. world championship with one thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars in 2020 <laughs> okay you gotta <laughs> so yeah 
Yeah, the money, the money, money, like people, people are sleeping on it. Sleeping. Uh, but shout out to those gentlemen. I'm gonna have to be keeping an eye out there on that because I was unaware at first uh that they had made it. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out myself regarding that. Uh and so we can keep keep I think one of my cousins. Let me call it. You said said, I think one of them was a cousin of mine. Uh uh, the last one. No, I think that was that was it. That was it. Oh no no, this one right here, um, yes, um, is Malik. This man, Malik Larson, he is one of the graphic designers for God of War. This picture came up, and I thought it was hilarious, but it's it's so true, and it kind of fits with what I was talking about with the whole roping thing. Um, he said, "My family now finally understands what I do." Mm. The fact that a lot of black families don't get when their kids are going into the electronic careers, you know what I mean? Or Mm -hmm. why they're gaming or things of that nature. You know what I mean? When they're trying to make a living out of these careers and these things, something that's not typical and they don't get that support. Now there are families that will still do it. Right. But the ones who don't, who don't give them that support, I'm going to need, I'm going to say shame on y'all first because a kid, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things you can do to make us make a living for yourself. My mom always said, Whatever you like, whatever you like to do, do it to the best of your ability. You can make money doing it, period. Oh, that's facts. Period. This man is sitting there. He he got the controller in his hand. He just finished playing the game he created. And he's like, hey, mama, you ask what I do for a living? This is it right here. <laughs> and he just points oh, and takes the picture. Like, is that, that type of situation? But those things should not happen. But they happen so often in our community. Mm-hmm. It's definitely it a generational so thing. It's a generational thing. It is. It is. But it's it's not. I would I would put it on the generational thing, but I can't even put it there anymore. In 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 these days, because you will have people that are like, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm a you know I'm a graphic designer, or I, you know, you can say in general, I work on video games, and they're like, oh, so you I'd broke. Be petty with it. Oh, I'd so be you petty broke. With it. Like no, they just hear broke. What, uh, right, they just hear broke. Knowing good so, and well, that's not the case. It's the farthest thing from the truth. <laughs> I mean, if he's a graphic designer on God of War, yeah, if he's a graphic designer on God of War, he's got to be at least making 50, 60, 70. That's a decent salary. Right. Well, he, he's hear got a out. decent salary. Hear me out, dude. You know, when I say that, I'm going to say something stupid. I'll be petty. Right, I'll be I so know. petty. Like let let somebody who I know is a gamer ask me what I do that don't know that I I, I do that right. Oh, you play this this and this? Yeah, my name's on that. Yeah, you paid for it. <laughs> oh, that you got that game? Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate you. It. You bought some VC for two K? I appreciate you. <laughs> but you know what they're gonna ask next, right? Well, how much? What? Where my hookup at? Right. <laughs> oh, you want the hookup? Beat me in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be paid. Show me first you off, me. first and foremost, why would you play the person who made the game? That's just dumb. Like I just no matter if they're good at it or not, I wouldn't I wouldn't attempt it just because you have inner workings of the game. You know tricks that I probably don't even think of. Like <laughs> bro, how you doing from the three-point line? Don't worry about it. I put that right. in you told me for one spot, you gotta have one particular dunk. <laughs> I'll be ready, right. bro. <laughs> Yeah. Be like this man windmilled from three quarters across the court. <laughs> he, how This was this is what someone should do on some on some real stuff. Somebody needs to put in a glitch into an NBA 2K game and turn it into Kuroko, to where you could have a certain <laughs> team. <laughs> they have to have a certain team, <laughs> and they get certain abilities unlocked. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Funny. There's That'd a fun funny. fact about the original NBA Jam, right? Uh-huh. One of the great creators put it, coded the game a certain way with the when you're when you're playing the Detroit Pistons and the Chicago Bulls, where if the if they're in a close game, the Bulls will always miss their shots because he's a Pistons. Oh, wow, that, could that actually happen? That's but, funny. Wow, we're on sports. I have a question. Yep. I know y'all haven't seen Creed 3 yet. I have. You seen it? Yep. He did. Yep. We were waiting on you to get into that. (laughs) 
What do you think about it? Solid nine out of ten. I love the visuals. Love the nine out of ten. Okay. Do y'all want to talk about it? I know he wants to see it. He's not paying attention. You want to wait? I'm definitely going to see it. I know, but do you want to talk about it? Spoilers or no? I'm not going to spoil. It might be a slow spoiler. Okay. Okay. So, um, we're going to talk about it again next week. I was going to get my brother along here so we can do like a slight interview with him, but me being late, okay. I didn't want to hit him up with probably training. No, but he's, he's good, actually good. a boxer. So, I tell you the scene that you see him. You see him in multiple scenes. You don't you see him in the most. Um, I think it was the first time that um, Dane was in the in in the training training room hitting the punching bag, oh, and right. Michael B went over to talk to him. It was a guy sitting on the table, just sitting there wrapping up his hand. Oh, That's my brother. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So when y'all see, just look out for him. Um, we had fun at the um, premiere and everything, but um, That's what's up. mind you, Michael B directed this. Mm-hmm. And Rob, Rob, you're gonna have an aha moment when I say this. Also, mm-hmm. mind you, he's a huge anime fanatic. Oh, yeah, you can see the anime references. You yo, the final fight is a scene where okay, y'all know in the previous Rocky movies when they, they're fighting and then it like it's a time lapse, but you see like they just into the fight and you don't know, you think it's like one round. Right, right, right. Yeah, he he animated that out. Like, bro, when you see yeah, it, you think I'll- anime. Even into the regular fights, when you in the regular fights, you know how um, have an anime movie during the fight when they lie something like, "Oh, he's weak right here." Right. Oh, he, he does they that. Took they took and advantage they, of that. Oh wow! He, he, the very first time you see it, it was perfect, and I loved it. Only thing I take, only thing I feel like the story could have been a little more detailed. I feel like they they top skipped a lot because you know, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, in the movie. Um, the guy took the title, and Michael B wanted to get it back for his um guy. But right. like, it was like we we saw that fight, we saw them arguing for it. Like it like it was a couple of days, then it was a fight. But it actually had to be spent a month because you don't do boxing matches, you know, like that. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay, another thing. This this is funny. So the movie came out March third. Right. The next night, we had uh John Jones boxing match. I mean fight. Your right. match in the movie, Michael B. Jordan. In the beginning, he retires, he didn't come back to the ring for three years. John, John Jones came, came back, back yeah. to the ring three years later. I, I me and my dad were talking about like, that's that's that. And y'all came out the same weekend as the fight. That's kind of funny. Y'all, y'all telling us something. Y'all knew something. <laughs> <we didn't know. laughs> they playing that one, yeah, but um. I don't think we're gonna have necessarily a Creed movie itself, but they were to continue the franchise. His daughter, oh my god, I would love it. Her okay. or even I was telling um, my thesis this. Like I would love to see Jonathan Mitch trying to re- like a redemption arc. I wouldn't mind seeing that a redemption arc for him yeah. a little bit. Yeah, Dane, Dane on uh, Diamond Dane. Yeah, I, that would I would not be mad at that. The fact of the matter is. Um, the thing that didn't didn't resonate with me was hit him and on Creed's fight. I felt like it was two old dudes fighting because both of them was out of you know the boxing age range. He's right. older than Creed in the movie. Um, gotcha. another thing, I felt like I I told y'all this before. I knew it was a Creed three. I'm like should have figured out a way to bring in Clumber Lane. Oh yeah, Mr. Yeah. T was still alive. They could have made him his his um you know fight instructor, his uncle, or some. Like, something I feel like I feel like that would have paid homage more towards you know the Rocky, and then it would have made the story more people who love the Rocky movies want to watch it. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But it's yeah. Like they're trying to transition from Rocky to Creed. Yeah. Yeah. At least the way, so, especially the way the, especially the way the movie ended. Honestly, it felt like they were. It was a torch pass. It definitely felt like a torch pass. Yeah. But you could go two or three different directions if you want to do the daughter. I wouldn't mind because that would be. Interested to see the women's aspect in the Rocky verse because you haven't seen that yet. Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, she, she cold clocked that kid. Oh my god, she oh, I felt that. Point. She, I was like, cool. <laughs> but um, like, she's definitely her grandfather's child. Put it to you like that, man. <laughs> man. Like, like, so it's the scene where she, she, you know, the little girl is deaf, mm. so it's the scene the movie. She goes to all deaf school, and this little kid goes over to her. Pulls her painting and rips it down the middle. Next 
then you know she gets up. <laughs> See, there's no, I would I would say there's no talking, but that would be redundant. <laughs> Oh, no, there was there um, was talking all right. There was talking was hands. All, all hands, all hands talking. <laughs> but this is my only thing. I feel like we could do a move with her, but only thing is she gonna hit a bell. There's probably ways around mm-hmm. that. There's probably ways around. It's that. probably way. I, it, just, it just the first thought. Um, everybody played their role, Macley. I'm upset because this is the second time in 2023. That oh. we lost the mama. Mm. Oh, you know, you know what? You know what? This is a spoiler. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm sorry for this spoiler, but I'm highly upset that we lost Felicia Rashad in this movie. You know what? I wasn't gonna say. I, see, I was keeping that quiet. I was gonna keep that part quiet, but okay. I was gonna keep that part quiet because I was kind of, I was kind of a little mad about that myself. I'm not gonna even lie, but bro, I was like. I, I leave with my girls in this. But I'm like, babe, if they kill Felicia, I'm gonna be upset. You, but okay, so okay. I have to say this: you do know why they're doing it, right? To make room for the next generation. Yes and no. These women are in. They're they're not past their prime, but they're definitely in their later years. They ready to retire for real, for real in real life. True. You know what I mean? These mm-hmm. movies are franchises, like the MCU. Mama Angela would have been auntie would have been there for forever dealing with Marvel. <laughs> Man, look, you, they would have found they would have redid they would have redid the universe and made her I'll be happy. Right. That's what would have happened. Now I'm I not mean, we lie, still got we still got Secret okay Wars, so I mean you never know. You never know. I would have been okay with them making her an old storm and then doing like a flashback. That would have been hard. Mm-hmm. But they already made her auntie, so they can't do that. They already made her his mama. <laughs> I'm just oh. saying. <laughs> but yeah, like if they're talking about taking these universes farther, they got to they got to let some of the older characters go so they can do other projects. You know what I mean? Or just retire. So, yeah, it's bound to happen. I mean, a lot of these I mean, I know some people were mad Stallone wasn't in Creed 3, but I mean, if you watch Creed 2, I mean, it seemed like he was just passing the torch. And it looks like at the end of Right. Oh, do you want to speak on that? I mean, I'm just mentioning right. Sylvester Stallone wanted to end it at Creed 2. He was like, he was done. But if you yeah. watch the movie at the end, he still um, he still was a producer. Yeah. And the reason why they did more or so, well, I'm saying like this because I feel this is me thinking the personal reason why I think they did, they kept him as a producer is so that they can keep the names. Right. They can keep the, um, they can keep all the sounds so they still the have you know, some little Rocky Jesus. Um, like the movie is branching out away because you know majority of um Rocky was set in, in um Philly, right? Yeah, this one is in right. LA. Oh yeah, it was all yeah. it was all LA. You definitely all California. LA. Even even though it was recorded here, it was in LA. Right. You know. You know. We don't have <laughs> studio magic. That's that studio magic. But, um. The movie I do give it a solid nine, nine out of ten. It was a good movie. Um, the fights were good. Uh, it it was it was a couple of scenes I was like y'all did that wrong, but I mean you know I'm not directing it, but you had a, a a retired boxing champion punch a random guy on the beach. That's a lawsuit, right? I mean, yeah, I got a point there, but. Yeah, you got a point that, but that was it. He probably wasn't expecting that. That's almost you almost gonna call it a sucker, but you wasn't expecting that. He wasn't, but even if he was, I don't think he could have stopped it. <laughs> Honestly, I thought the way the movie was gonna go at the beginning seemed like they were just setting up for like a reverse of the, of the original Rocky movie. That's what I thought they were gonna go like, and then maybe like but, Paul, I, we ended up getting the fight we were gonna get, but they didn't go the way I thought it would go. Honestly, yeah. Uh, like is 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 so many ways you know and um was it Rocky two Rocky lost yeah he had to come back in Rocky three to beat Cumberland and I feel like uh that's the way they could have went um and uh well it was it was something else about sports I want to talk about my favorite my my now in the league favorite players pissing me off and y'all y'all probably know who it is 
y'all yeah, posted in the group chat. Um, I want to punch John Morant in the throat. <laughs> Not the dude who flashed the gun. Yeah. Yo, yep, yes, yes, sir. listen, listen. Yeah. If he ever Cold. sees his video, somebody, if someone just shows it to him, I love Ja. Like, Ja's my is. new and in, in current favorite basketball player to watch. And I feel like he's finna pull a Gilbert Arenas or something and yeah. up his career. Yeah. yeah. Like, I get it. I get it. You from, from where you from, you are who you are. But everybody knows once you get where you are, you got to change who you was to, you know, to, exactly. to keep what you got. Yeah, yeah, they kind of funny you say. I mean, they were kind of alluding that in pre three a little bit too. They kind of alluded to it with one of the captains. Yeah, that, that was pretty much that was pretty much Jaws' story right now. <laughs> pretty much. Well, it's just like, yeah. bro, you 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 are an amazing yes. basketball player. You're very don't, fun don't, to watch. Yeah, don't don't, don't, don't throw away for, for for them people, bro. Yeah, the hood. I mean, you could love the hood, but you can't be in the hood if that makes sense. Oh, you gotta be like Uncle. You gotta be like Uncle Edward. You gotta love the hood, love the hood. But as soon as you get your money, you gotta leave. Right. You ain't got nothing. To uh, this is another one that you all had mentioned that. earlier. Oh yeah, about no, the, the ACC. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They get some bad. They get some. They get some beautiful black women in these coaching positions, man. I'm telling you. I'm gonna start playing sports again. <laughs> so, Coach Ivy, first black head coach. Uh, of the ACC regular season, so shout out to her for that. You had to throw right. that in there. Yeah, I forgot Notre Dame was in the ACC because they used to be in the Big East. I, I yep. only had football. I think it was for football reasons. Mm. But, um, what else? Yeah, and then you had on Russell Westbrook going to the Clippers. I mean, yeah, but that's another person. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this right now. I wish, I wish Durant and Russell Westbrook never left OKC. Honestly, mm-hmm. they, 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 they just did a good thing. They just did a good thing. I don't think that was a – don't get me wrong. I would love for them to win the championship as long as it wasn't against my heat. <laughs> as long as it wasn't against heat, I would love to see that. Um, but this era of basketball is not what it – it's not like the old era. Back in the old days, when you got traded, you can't trade it because you want to go to a new team. You got traded because, A, you and the team you wanted to get wasn't working – or B, right. the team was killing it. Yep. Mm-hmm. These players nowadays, they got There was a reason. That, yeah, they got something that the team, the players back in the day didn't have. Mm-hmm. The agency. Yeah, the you, agency. You, had to, you had to earn your stripes. You had to earn your stripes mm-hmm. a lot. I mean, yeah, like, I feel like if we, if they kept that area of basketball now, we would not have, you know, some of these super teams that they call them now. I don't, I still, I, I think the super teams died after Miami run. Yeah. To be honest, because Golden State was never really a super team. They was in that built through grit, and then Kevin Durant just hopped the man wagon. Mm-hmm. Sure. They, yeah, it's funny they enough, built their bridge. Funny enough, you can kind of blame the whole super team era, both Durant and LeBron. I mean, if you want to if you want to go that route, I mean, we'll probably look back. Nope. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't because for the before uh, Durant and LeBron, it was uh, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and uh, Ray Allen. I mean, but they were a bunch yeah. of old niggas at the end of them. In the I wouldn't even call that a super team, honestly. They were just a bunch of old people at the end of the line. Mm-mm. They still had they still had four good years after that, and then they got with one or two titles. During that, they should have won three. Won. Key, but I think they I think they won one. No, they don't want one. They should have got two. They should have got two. Well, Jumbo said, "Leave us out of it." No, well, he know how I feel about Paul Pierce. I never trusted Paul Pierce with anything. I, I've yeah. never been a Paul Pierce fan, even when he was, you know, when he was the player that everybody was like, oh, he's gonna be the next up. Uh, on the level of Kobe and Michael mm-hmm. Jordan, I was like, nah, nah, nah. he's not. No, nah. nah, that was that was what you're thinking. Not, and he's not his skills. I just didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, that's a different era. Like, I mean, I'm starting to get back in the basketball because of Giannis and like said Jaws. Like, some of these guys are kind of get me back into it a little bit because I was a I was an Iverson fan. So, like, you're never gonna get like an Iverson icon. You ain't, you're never gonna get an anti-hero like Iverson in the NBA again. Well, 
you they have it right now. Oh, um, not play like Iverson, but if they give Jokic this um this MVP, I'm not changing my background. Why you keep asking me? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, they give if they give Jokic this MVP, I'm gonna feel it was forced because like last year he shouldn't have won. Not mm. doubting him, but I feel like uh, uh, MB was more deserving last year. Mind you, I, I mean, Grizzlies was doing that thing last year, so I, I, I could agree with that. They were doing that thing. I'm a positive year. NBA fan. Mm-hmm. I love watching NBA play. Like, my team is my always and forever, but I would not. If I see a um, 76 or Memphis game on, I don't care who they playing, I'm going to watch this for NB and Ja. And don't let them play against each other. Yeah, I know the Sixers was up here in Milwaukee last night. They snapped the Bucks when they shoot. They were what, like 16, 17 in a row. I was like, ooh. Mm-hmm. That's a, I was saying, I forgot who I was talking. Also, I was telling somebody like, you don't see a sixteen game winning streak that often these days. You don't see that too while, often. While I'm thinking about it, um, sir, I'm gonna need you, y'all. I don't know what y'all got on what y'all putting in the drinks or the Gatorade, or whatever, but Julius Randle should not have made that shot. <laughs> Keep kidding. Okay, he's talking, he's to, talking you. to you. He's <laughs> looking dead at you too on screen. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. Should not have made that shot. What's up? Julius Randle should not have made that shot. You that saying? man was playing 2K. That man was playing 2K on rookie when he made that shot. Cause that was too green. I mean, went straight, it didn't rookie. bounce. It went straight in. Yeah, it was, listen, first of all, it not only was it too green, okay? It was the green with the flame. <laughs> 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 If I y'all, said, okay. if y'all don't play 2K, let me explain. In 2K, when you release the ball perfectly on the shot, a green light will show up. You, you can choose whatever it is, but it, uh, sometimes the new 2 k got it to where it make a sound. So the, the default is like a flame and go like, Phew. but they got new ones, <laughs> and it'd be so funny. They got one with like a, a green angel wing to go up. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. But when he made that shot, bro, I thought I was watching 2K. I thought I was watching somebody play. Okay, he should not have made that shot. That that is a playoff shot. That's a shot that you only see in the playoffs. I was highly upset. I thought Miami had, had that game one. Man, <laughs> that's sports for you. You never know what could happen anytime, any you given don't. Sunday. To quote the old saying, "You don't, you don't." So y'all want to get into this uh this debate? Which yes, one? yes. There was two. Well, it was only one. One debate. One hundred. Which other debate was you talking about, Rod? Wait a minute. We got no, two I'm, debates. No, I'm. To, I'm no, I was asking which debate because I'm. I'm honestly, oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, like, power, any yeah. given day, we usually got like five. So the power. <laughs> the power system. So we'll do this one. Okay, let me give my answer first because I don't have an answer. I just want to argue with everybody. All right. Okay, hold on. I don't know. Well, then let me start it off. Let me start it off. So for those who are just listening, the debate is this. Which anime of the ones that I'm about to give you has the best power system? Not the strongest powers, but what is the best system? Okay. You've got um, Agame Kakil with the Tegu. You've got Hunter x Hunter with Nin. You've got the Magic and Fairy Tale. My Hero Academia's Quirks. Dragon Ball's Key Energy. Um, JoJo's Stand Energy. The One Piece Hockey. Naruto Chakra, Full Metal Alchemist, Alchemy, or the uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, it's just Spirit. spiritual energy. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be spirit, spirit energy, like basically. Energy. Yeah, they just put energy. But spirit energy. So of these, which anime is the best power system is the question. Uh, well, when this, when this came up, like, uh, everybody wanted like, to argue. Yeah, system, well, system is the keyword, right, right? System is Before the keyword. Go question um just for shit can we throw with um magic can we throw in um black clover's magic as well both on magic it's just for, for, for me, to, uh, me to argue i gotta need that in there so y'all can understand where i'm coming from are we combining fairy tale so are you saying yeah, that it, it, magic it, it, that it's still, it's still magic. black clover is the same N- not 
necessarily, but just for the sake of the argument I want to make, I need um, Black Clover to be in there, but they're both magic-based. Well, that's what I'm saying. Are we combining those two, or is that in its own individual category? Yeah, I want to be the owner. Yeah, I want to combine them, since they're both magic. Well, you're uh, I don't know. In. That's why I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't seen Fair Tale or too much of either series, so I can't. I well, don't know about that one. Well, Kamar. Yo. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like um Black Clover Magic can be compared with um Fairy Tale Magic? Nah. Okay, nah. it's gonna be its own separate. Okay. Yeah, it has to be. Okay, if so I'm looking at this honestly, if we're talking about systems. <laughs> I'm, I might be the only person who says this, but I'm gonna say alchemy. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad you said alchemy. Ooh, this is gonna be funny. Okay. Okay. Do so. Do we want to throw them out? Throw out what we think first, and then argue. Yes. Why you feel yours is okay. Who's next? Um, you know. I'm biased, bro. It gotta be hockey, bro. Okay, okay, hockey. hockey. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. okay. I haven't seen enough One Piece. So I can't, you know. I, I have, I have to say this, and I, I will say this with all all respect. There's only one right answer. What's the What's the right answer? And that's Nin. Right. Okay, as as I'm, glad you, system, I, I'm, I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you did it. Okay. All right, so what's yours, Jack? I don't have one. I say I don't have one. The reason why it's okay. hard for me to pick, okay. and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the reason why this is um when I saw this, the first thing I thought about was like the best power system was the best uh gain, you know, more power. So mm-hmm. looking at all these, Rod said alchemy, he said the hockey, and you said Nin. Between mm-hmm. y'all three, I agree with Panda strictly because you can train your Nin to get way stronger. I'm glad nobody said chakra and I'm glad nobody said key. Yeah. But the, my thinking was chakra and key are pretty much the same thing. So to an yeah, extent. I agree with that. To an agree. Okay. With with chakra, you have people who have more chakra reserves than other people and you can't train that. It's that way would, get around it, but that would be the same with key. Yeah, there's drawbacks. I mean, yeah. as I'm looking at all of these, I like that. I don't I don't know magic. I don't know stands. I don't know if there's drawbacks with those. Hockey, I could kind of see some of the stuff with Luffy. I could kind of see some drawbacks. Um, like I said, chakra, you you only have an X amount. I mean, they made that specifically in Naruto. Quirks to bring my hero into play here. There are definitely some drawbacks, as you can see with certain villains. I'll leave it at yeah. that because I know some people are not caught up. But a certain mm. villain is definitely an excellent example of a drawback. Even Key has his own drawbacks. We might love Goku in them, but they are like pro- prodigies. You got to consider that with a lot of Dragon Ball. A lot of them are considered prodigies. So we don't see people struggling. To circle back to my hero, Quirks, you see people struggle with Quirks. Like I said, I haven't seen... I haven't seen One Piece enough to judge hockey, nor have I seen enough with Fairy Tale with magic. But if I'm going by certain RPG logic that I know with magic, you can struggle with magic. Mm-hmm. Now, going back to alchemy, why I'm saying it's the best power system is because if it's Full Metal Alchemist, is alchemy specifically? There's maybe there's some taboos you you can't do alchemy wise, but mm-hmm. if you break the taboos, those are the only drawbacks. The thing with alchemy is you have to know the, the formulas, the ingredients, and everything needed to perform the spells. Outside of that, there's really no drawbacks. If you don't know how to do a spell, you don't know how to do a spell. Every other other ones we mentioned so far, there is some sort of drawback. I can't see a drawback with alchemy just based on these, based on what I know. So that's why I picked alchemy. Okay. okay. I will say this. Without and this is without me going into my argument yet because I'll wait for my argument. But I will say this: I think this entire conversation, because Rod pulls a lot of good points with alchemy, that I can I can agree with. Um, it comes down to the actual question, though. 
um, and the breakdown of said question. <laughs> you know what I mean? So which anime has the best power system? In looking at the system of it as a whole, is it, like Jay said, is this about leveling up faster, gaining strength faster? Is that, you know what I'm saying? What is the purpose of the system? Is it about the assimilation of the ability itself? Is it, you know what I mean? Does, I mean, does what I'm saying make sense? It's yeah. like, what part of the system are we looking at? Or are we looking at this system as a whole? Drawbacks are definitely one key to the entirety of the system. But you also have to take in mind the number of individuals who can learn through said system or mm -hmm. obtain or attain different levels throughout or also variance, the, the amount of variance within the system to do different yet the same things. Um, so like, for example, you've got like you, your main, you know, the, the six Nin categories everyone can have up until you get to basically like those last, mm. like you, you have what you're innate to, which I think all of these have, you have an innate sense to something, even with alchemy, the alchemists had their own innate natures toward things. Yeah, I was just about to say that makes can, sense. You can yeah. play yeah. alchemy with chakra, through, right? Per se. They all, you all, they all have that ability to, you know, you got your wind or you got your fire or you got your ice. You know what I mean? Everyone has an affinity towards something based on their natural energy that they pro they produce, right? Um, however, the ability or the strength of that technique is based on practice with alchemy, though. It was personal opinion, it was more of a not not just a knowledge because the state alchemist had knowledge and Ed tore them to shreds. They had they, they had access yeah. to the knowledge, <laughs> you know. But I'm saying, <laughs> what I mean by saying, I mean like their, their power base is based on knowledge. The more you know, the more powerful you. You can be with alchemy. True, true. True. But in that in that same line, if that's the case, then why were the alchemists not stronger? Prime example, Armstrong, General Armstrong. He had the ability to, you know what I'm saying? The first, they have yeah. access to the library. All of them have access to the library. Mm -hmm. But General Armstrong was strictly muscle bound, right? He was a brick <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was his family. Was, they was all about, yeah, yeah. That was his was family. Master, like I said, he was master before the, master. The, the first, right? The first Eskinor. That's gonna right. That's what he was. He was a prodigy, though. True. Eric Elric was a prodigy. You have, you are very correct. But I'm just saying for the everyone Elric, else. You had okay. Kimball. Kimball was the Crimson Alchemist, and he used that only in certain ways. He could only fight yep. a certain way. Mustang was the Flame Alchemist. If anybody had knowledge. It was him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that he could only use the snaps of the fire, you know what I'm saying? Because it really was just the friction that created the flame and he controlled the strength of the flame. That was it. That was mm -hmm. just his affinity, though. So and so I, I feel like it's it's a pigeon. A lot of them have pigeonholes. Honestly, uh, I'm throw a hot take out here. If it wasn't for some of these drawbacks, power system was, you know what would be the best one out of all these? Funny enough, I think it'd be quirks. I think it would be quirks. I, I still think, don't. I still don't. I, I mean, I, 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 if you think about the drawback, yeah. take the drawback of quirks, how they could backfire on your body. We seen it with chakra. We seen it with key. I like that. I don't. I don't know about hockey. I don't like that. I'm not that far in one piece, so I don't know. I, you guys will know that better than me, but. And if you take drawbacks, if you take some of the drawbacks of quirks out, I think quirks are probably more broken than alchemy. I see, and I I disagree because I think it, I think the okay, so here the the main reason, one of the one of the one of the main reasons I feel Nin is the best system overall is because of the amount of similarity yet variance. And by that I mean with quirks. It depends on what you're born with. You can't change yep. your quirk later. You know what I mean? With alchemy, with hockey, or with key. Not well, yeah, even with hockey to a degree. Hockey, key, chakra, they're based on what you were born with, your spiritual or innate natural energy. And yeah, while you need the outside it, of chain. Right. 
And while Nin has that, you can basically stop and you can you can strengthen your Nin. Was it Nin Zen Ten or Ten Zen Nin? Yeah. Um, but you can you can you can increase the level at a base at a macro uh, like at a micro base level. You can increase your ability and stamina to basically tenfold your reserves off of a baseline. Mm-hmm. From there, yes, you have your affinities, whether you're an enhancement or an emission or a manipulation type. But within that type, then you have the ability to, you could do anything in that. Prime example, uh, one of the most famous people is Ahsoka, right? In mm-hmm. Hunter. that His bungee gum. Is a if I'm not saying it was a conjuration, what but it was it was a specialist as well. Like he was able to you're able to add different things to it. He just leveled his baseline up to where he wanted to go and kept doing that and then leveled up the next level. Like think of it as you have three different levels, and each level has an infinite ranking within that level if you take the time to do it. So for for the sake of everybody else, we're gonna take out. Uh, was it Tingy? Yeah, Tingle is gone. Tingle is gone. gone. Um, and that's just because they're just they're they're strong weapons that have an affinity towards strong people. Spirit that's energy awesome. is gone. Yeah, and mm-hmm. stand chakras are gone. Right. Um, are we taking away key too? Because key and chakra are pretty much the same. Key and chakra are the same. Yeah. I would say we'll take away key, but the only only thing about key is is because of the fact when you look at how people train in Dragon Ball with their key until you know until Z, we, we're talking about strictly Dragon Ball, right? right? Before we got the Zenkai boost and the multipliers, key would have been if they would have kept key that same like you know power scaling throughout, mm-hmm. it would have been an argument. But I they, agree. Add all, they add all the multiple. Once you get the Kale Ken the, and yeah, all of that. Uh, like that. Even though everybody can learn it. I'm pretty sure everybody who went to go see King Kai could have learned the Kale Ken if they wanted to. If they if they was physically able to, they would have. But Goku's Chico. Keywords. Vegeta's if Chico. physically able to. That's the thing. Yeah. If physically able to. That's the key even point so, there. To be honest, I feel like if I'm if I'm not, I might be mistaken. It's been a while since I watched that era of Z. Mm-hmm. I feel like everybody could have learned it, but because of their, they probably could have did one or two times. They couldn't do 10, like 100, 10. 30 times like right. Goku could or Vegeta possibly. Man, Vegeta had <laughs> can't, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. Yo. <laughs> but, no, so t- the reason I know Tingy, nobody said nothing about Tingy. The only reason why is because it's very specific. It's it's so specific to the point where once you get that weapon, you can only use that weapon. But you have your imagination with that weapon, but that's it. And but they also have very large drawbacks, which is like Rob was saying, them drawbacks are, are killers. Like um what's what's on girl? Like Incursio uh, but- Gives you full strength, but you lose your sanity and control. Yes. Uh, Nick Stasse, oh, you lose your hearing. Uh, oh, the the gun. Uh, yeah. Pumpkin. You yeah. lose your eyesight. Like, you you got an ultimate sniper rifle, but you lose your eyesight. Well, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. True. Like, and, you know, what also, I mean? we had some of them losing the people who didn't even have, you know, Tingu. Mm-hmm. Or we losing like fights they shouldn't have lost. So right. that's that's why that's out. Like even, no matter how much money that one came up down to just really battle IQ and experience. Exactly. And we're just talking yeah. about power skilling. Now for fairy tale, we've seen people train and get their power stronger. We've seen people who are just gifted with it. We we, we watched right. Natsu grow, even though you know he was at the end we found out why him and all the other dragon slaves were so strong. But you had right. people rivaling them that didn't have that same thing. But so here's here's what I'll say in in line with that. When I look at when I've looked when I looked at all these, I looked at the weakest person in the series and what was their growth like. 
That's how I looked at it. Who would be the weakest person in favor? Kana. Kana. You think so? Kana or Jet. Jet and Droy, but Kana, I would say, was the only one who really, they really gave a storyline to. I, I Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, man. Lucy wasn't, Lucy wasn't yeah, necessarily weak. Right. I mean, Lucy wasn't necessarily weak. Yeah. Her, her magic was a different type of magic, so it's kind of hard to... But speaking of magic, let's, let's, let's throw in... Black like Clover. I said, Black Clover. Mm-hmm. I argue Black Clover so bad when I saw this because I've actually seen weaker people become stronger. Luck. Luck wasn't weak in the beginning, but he was like outclassed by other, you know, wizards. And then we had that arc with him and um, Sapphire Dude name. Oh, Magna. Ma- him and Magna, they went off and trained and came back. It was OP. Yeah, uh, the, 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 uh, but the they never showed group. my other thing was they never showed how he explained it. And they, um, what's her name? What's her name? Leon, the the woman, uh-huh. she, she explained a lot how when they were in the, doing her little training art, she explained a lot how you can make your magic stronger. Things oh, talking about, yeah, the cloak, magic. the magic cloak, and stuff like the that. You're cloak, right, you're right, learning right. how to do that. Like, that's what I like about it. The fact which that reminded me of me, yeah. That's why I that's why I agree with you when you said Nia. I was gonna see what everybody else. Said. I didn't have one because I was gonna be biased. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, I feel it. like Joe was staying. I feel like that's not really a power system. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have it or you don't. Like I and mind you, I I know about. about I haven't watched JoJo. I, I watched mm-hmm. like a couple episodes. I could, but I know about you know the power systems and all that. It's OP. It's mm-hmm. OP. Like. A lot of it's battle IQ too, from what I've seen. Battle IQ and basically Pokemon typing. Yeah, pretty much. You mm-hmm. fight the person, you're gonna win. Right. Right. Um, unless you're Dio, energy and then yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> um, spirit energy, y'all know I'm gonna be biased spirit energy because I'm a Yu Hakusho fan. But I already know spirit energy has a cap. It has a monster cap to the point when you use up your mm-hmm. spirit energy. You got to use up your, um, you know, life force. Your life force. Your life force. Yep. And uh-huh. with, even with that, like you have, have different types of spirit energy. Don't forget, you got the demon spirit, spirit energy. You got the spirit energy, and there's other, um, you know, like it's different yep. types of demon spirit, spirit energy. Right. 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 Oh, definitely. And with, with that, you either just like with key, you have to have the, the will, also the. Strength to strengthen your spirit energy, mm-hmm. or be born mm-hmm. with it. Like cool Bar was born with it, right? Technically, you say was born with it. You say was born with it, but it wasn't here until like later on in the series. And yeah, it was a then, dormant gene. It was, yeah, it was a dormant gene, pretty much. Even then, he was still getting the asshole. Like I will agree. Like, like you have to because they like it. It was always like the lucky. Hit. Or the lucky mirror that's in the corner that help you win. Like right. I took a guess type thing. That's why I like it was not just you no. Know, oh, he won because he got the Zenkai boost. No, because right. he tried something they thought thought would work and took a risk. And it it, it took a risk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, got chakra. I I when I saw this, the first thing I ruled out was chakra because you have people who are born with. Chakra reserve that are insane. Um, yep. First, Tokage, the Uzumakis, like they, when you hear that's a lot of chakra. Like mm-hmm. Naruto had a lot without the nine tail, Naruto chakra is or immaculate, like more chakra right. than Kakashi. Mm-hmm. But he, when he found out, would just say, like, Are you serious? Like, yeah, you have more chakra than me, bro. Well, I just know how to use my chakra. That you have people. One of the key things in Naruto that tells with the chakra was KK, something that's only in one blood. Right. right. And I feel like that, that tells with quirks. Like, you get your yeah. quirk, not all the time it's going to be, you know, your mom or your dad quirk. Sometimes it's going to be your grandparents' quirk or a quirk that your right. grandparents could have had. But yeah, but it mixed with that. Like, um, yeah. Like, I'm about to go. Like, yeah, what was Bakugo mom and dad quirk? Yeah, one of them had like 
expo- here because his is, his power is mostly just explosive sweat. I think his mother had an explosion power, and I think his dad could produce nitroglycerin. So put the two together, explosion. Right. Yeah. Then you got you know um, the most famous one, Todoroki, ice and fire. Right. But then you we don't know all their parents, and some of we know a lot of them parents didn't have quirks that, that correlated with their kids' quirk mm-hmm. more times than none. So that's my thing was the people who had worthless quirks. That's yeah, true. I like, just have a bird head, I mean, but I can't do nothing with it. I just have a bird head. Here's like, my, here's, here's my <laughs> argument. For, here, right. Here, here's my argument for, for the worthless quirk: Lamillion. I wouldn't say that. I mean, he knew well, what he was quirk was cool still. Wait, he, he could his face. Quirk cool. His quirk. He shadow cat. He's he had to cat. train. He had to train to. Oh yeah, physically, use his yeah. Quirk to benefit him. Yeah, because his quirk is not a fight quirk. He made it a fight quirk, right. bro. Yeah, it's like, like shadow cat. He, he took yeah. nothing and made it to something. Like if you got. Sh- people, like, oh, Rookie, he had to be a fighter. Like him, him and Bakugo, go there. That you. wasn't happening, right? Oh, even even on Red Riot, he had to. Like his no, quirk, he could have been more defense person, but he a, just, he yeah. learned to to trade it up. Yeah, to train it up to fighting. Mm-hmm. But hear me out. On why not be a fighter? Come on. Right. Or moving still. What's his name? Tetsu. Yeah. Tetsu. Tetsu. They they got the same. They they the same person. <laughs> That's right. the best episode. That fight was hilarious. That was like Metapod like, versus Metapod. Really, <laughs> it really was. Now you said Metapod was versus Metapod. I, I forgot all about <laughs> yeah. that. Hard, 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 hard. harder. Um, <laughs> they just stared um, at each other. <laughs> we, we already spoke. We, we spoke on alchemy. Oh, I love alchemy. Oh my god, I do. But I feel like when it comes to me, it's the equivalent exchange is one. That that's one. Knowledge is the second. Knowledge, knowledge behind, behind alchemy is truly the key, because you have to know and memorize the things that you need to make what you're trying to make. Even though you know he was a cheat code because he always had metal on him. That I mean, I don't got to exchange nothing. I already got the arm. I just got to reconfigure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now we're down to my my pick, which is Nin, and reason why I pick. And then is because it was it was my front runner. I ain't say I pick it. It's my front runner strictly because we, we watch trash people train and become less trash throughout the series. That's true. And with even though you know it's it depending on, on you know the type of that you are good with to the type that you want to train and get better with, like it's way like. It's like it's so it's four levels. It's yes. I had to pull, I had to pull them back up. Ten Zetsu Ren Hatsu. You don't specialize till you get to the fourth tier, the top tier. Everybody else has all three of the others. Oh, just based on how much they work. Mm-hmm. So like ten is just an aura for defense. That's it. And so the more you you train on focusing your aura, the stronger that defense can be. Zetsu is like hiding your presence. It's for stealth. It's for recovering your aura and recovering from exhaustion. Ren is your output, which makes your attack stronger, makes your defense stronger, makes your attack stronger. So while you're training level one, you're working on level two. While you're training level one and two still, you're working on level three. While you're training one, two, and three still, now you start working on your specialty, which is your hot suit. You see what I mean? And so, like, then you're loading, working on all four of them, but you can keep everything for levels three and four the same and just work on one and two, which hmm. is your defense and everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, bolster that, and then it automatically makes your other stuff stronger. And here's so, my argument for um, the the pe- people that I choose to, to base this off of are the Camarans. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the reason why not the, the later ones, the earlier ones, the ones right when they started talking, mm. saw them go from not knowing what to do to learning it to actually being OP. Like, even though they was, you know, 
they lost bad, understood, and was able to come actual threats. They they're basically they were basically Saiyans without it being Saiyans. Pretty much. That's kind of how Nian worked. Who was that? The lion? Oh my yeah. god. Like he was he he could have been OP, bro. He could have Oh, he really could have. He just caught the wrong person. That's all that was. Yeah. <laughs> he he just caught the wrong fight. Yeah, that happens. He really so like, I don't caught the wrong fight, to be honest. I feel like if they would have switched that, it would have been something a little different. Yeah, yeah. So I with with me, I took more so uh Kurapika. That's who I was looking at. Um, because you really of the main characters, you really saw him grow. Big facts. You know, throughout the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, he from the, from the specificity. Bad, <laughs> he put oh, yeah. grown bad, dog. <laughs> yes. I mean, we all know about the infamous uh dig your own grave. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. One of the most that disrespectful means. moments in anime. <laughs> One of the most disrespectful times, bro. Yeah, disrespectful. Y'all that haven't seen it. Y'all go just look at that scene, bro. That whole I think it was like two episodes on fight. Yeah, but yeah. the fight won two episodes. Bro. It, the two fight episodes. was one episode. No, maybe two. It was maybe two. It was maybe two. I think it ended like, in the we, second one, like the beginning well, of the second one. This is what happened. They introduced the fight in, in the middle of it, ended, and we just saw him bearing in the second. One. <laughs> he was like, "What you bring that oh. shovel for?" Uh, I came to this to bury you. And he just starts digging, and then the dude attacks him in the middle of him digging his gra- digging the dude's grave. Like, <laughs> no, this is for you. I'm gonna dig this now, so mm. I don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> well, I got energy. <laughs> oh damn! Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> my my that was behind then, and it's simply because I watched people grow was hockey. And the first person that pops in your head when you think of hockey is Cody. Wait, he gets hockey? Like, yeah, hot, bro, Cody is a con- beast, bro. Cody got conquered behind. Hockey, Jay, he's behind. He's behind. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. Wait, I didn't wait, expect no, that. No, fool. No, 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 no. Cody wait, and Hel- Helimpo. Well, we knew Helimpo sooner or later, but hold on. Did you know? I'm still at the start of part two. Yeah. I'm still at the start of part two. I'm on I'm on episode on, what, 590. He didn't use no, it. He didn't use it during the break four. That's when we saw glimpses of it, though. Yeah, you saw glimpses of it. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was Luffy. Oh, oh, look, oh we saw Luffy use it, but on later on when Cody was the one who yelled right before Shanks stopped it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was Luffy. Oh no, nah, no, nah, that was no, Cody. Luffy, <laughs> Luffy was out of. Luffy was already out of. Remember, Ace had already died. Yeah. Oh. I but yeah, Cody was the one. We, like I was arguing myself. So it's, it's between men and hockey, just because. Of, like, the only thing hockey. is, I feel like you have to for conquerors hockey for like certain levels of hockey. I think, or correction, for certain types of hockey, I think you have to be disposition to it already. Okay, but hear hear me out. With hockey, just like men, you know, you get you got the three forms, and you get the. Four. Mm-hmm. Form right, mm-hmm. but the thing, thing was, well, he just get one form and so OP to where your other was. Like, That's true. Kind of I give you that. Kind of- now, I give you that. Observation hockey are in right. I agree place. that I can agree with. I just meant I was thinking more so like the conquerors, the operation, color supreme. You know what I mean? Like, I think you are okay. you have an aff- aff- affinity for one of the, one of those or the other. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. think you could learn to get conquerors. Yeah, it's either you got it or you don't. You got it or you don't. But you yeah. can learn just like we saw Lungy. I mean, I said Lungy. <laughs> Sanji. You know, Sanji got his hockey. Zoro got his. Zoro got on me. Yeah. 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 That's true. Because you can train to a point where you start getting it. That's true. Yeah. But I believe Zoro has um, observation hockey, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I just, yeah, that's I there's no like, way. Um, I there's feel no like he doesn't. Sanji's, I feel like Sanji probably has it too. I feel like both of them have. Um, um, Observation hockey. Yeah. But I just for like, fighting style, they would have to. 
But yeah, that, that was all. I was hoping somebody would pick one of the ones I didn't think was gonna even make it matter. <laughs> I was hoping, like I, I feel like Bo was gonna just pick hockey, but I was hoping I was gonna say court. <laughs> I just wanted him to say court. <laughs> nah, even I know better than that. <laughs> Man, but yeah. So all right. Well, that is off the list. We got that done. I didn't think it was gonna be that that quick, but uh, other than that, I got one more story. If I'm looking at the episode title correctly, definitely did not cover that. Huh? As I'm looking at the episode, I guess we missed the topic. Oh, which one? Which one? The Ninja Turtle announcement. Is that what you think? Yeah, that's what I was about to I was about to pull. Yeah, that's the main cake. The main cake. So lastly for today, I wanted to bring up the fact that Seth finally released the voice actors for the new Ninja Turtles movie that he's wrote. Um they are gonna be voice acting in it. I'm surprised at some of them, to be honest. Uh, but I'm excited to see some of them. So for one, so, Jackie Chan is Splinter. I'm surprised that hasn't oh. happened already. I'm surprised that has not happened already. Oh. Wait, 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 I have a question. I'm is sorry. this like animated, like CGI? Animated? It's animated. I don't know. That I don't know. But these are these people are just the voices of the characters. So I don't know if it's going to be CG or anime or... Trailer what. should be out tomorrow, so we'll find out then. So we'll find out, yeah, definitely. But, if, I mean, from the art style, I mean, I got a feeling this looking anime-ish, manga-ish. Uh, but Jackie I'm, Chan is Splinter, I'm down for it. I think I, that's that's a great that's choice. That's a good choice. Like, I'm yeah. surprised that hasn't happened yet. Uh, Rocksteady, they got Cena. I don't know how I feel so, about that one. Hold on, wait a minute. That so one. the last the action movie had Shaman as as right. It was a city or Bebop. right? The Bebop. And now we got Athena. Okay, okay. No, no, Rocksteady. Oh, Rock Rock Shamus was Rocksteady. Shamus was Rocksteady. Hmm. Seen as Rocksteady this time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Shamus back. Yeah. Uh, it was Bebop. Post Malone, Ray Follett. The fact that they have Ray Follett in here makes me happy. Yeah, that's, that's one. You know how long it's been since that character has touched the screen? Like that was original Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I, I like what it's going just because he's already like original. Oh, it's it gets better. Oh, Gecko Mundo. Better. That's another one. Okay. Right now, Paul Rudd. Eh, but he was the quirky one, and so I feel it. It it fits. It, it could work. It could work. It's, it it's can definitely cool. work because Mondo Mondo was like the skater dude. He didn't give a. He didn't care. Like, and from what Seth said, they're gonna be pulling. They said that they're thinking more like thinking this like Tony Hawk Pro Skater One soundtrack wise. So I kind of see what okay. they're <laughs> Uh Hannibal Barris as Genghis. I'm all for it. I am. That's all a choice for him being That's Genghis. A good choice. <laughs> yeah, that is that, a good that, that might be the best role. Right the best there. one. I rock with Jack Chan. I rock with Jack Chan, Master Splinter, but that right. might be the perfect role. Like that's oh that's yeah, Iron Man, Tony Stark, perfect right there. Right, right. I wish. I just wish it was live action with him versus the animated. Right. But I'll take I it. <laughs> but I'll take it. Um, what else? Let's see here. Uh, they had Ice Cube as Superfly. And Maya Rudolph as Cynthia Utram. Okay. I, think now, those, I don't know who Cynthia is. Those are original characters. I think both of those are original characters. Okay. Okay. Oh, OG. So, OG. Uh, Bebop, they've got a Seth Rogen, which I can see that. I'm, yeah, I'm okay always playing a Warthog, so what else is new? Right. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Sticking to his roots. That man, this is third one? Third Warthog. He was Pumba first. Yo, yo. Who? What was the other one? Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. I think it was the Royal Yeah, Rock. Yeah. Yeah. And then they had the whole homie. Listen, if he said, like, when I was a young Warthog, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> oh, he's got yeah. to. You know he when has to. I was a young Warthog. 
I think that's one somewhere. thing we do the show lines that they miss in, in movies. Because other than oh, that, like one, what they should one have put in. Had, yeah, like when when Doctor Strange and Iron Man met, they should just say no shit, Sherlock. I feel like that would oh, be wow. perfect. Could both of them play Sherlock? Yeah, this you is can't. True. You this like, is true. Went, and it was that a perfect was time. Um, t- um, uh, um, Doctor Strange had asked Tony something, and he and Tony says, "I like." He should say no shit, Sherlock. If he was, it would it would have fit his character. It would have yep. been hilarious. Yeah. They, you know they don't swear MCU, but that I that was a perfect opportunity. No, that would just be like language. Let's see here. Baxter yes. Stockman. Yes, that's the best yeah. one. I'm that's the best <laughs> one. Yeah, that's the best. Bro, when that when, yep. Yo, I'm looking on Far Cry right now on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Yo, and then the April one. O'Neil is. I actually do not know who she who she is. Do you all know who she, she was is? in a show? Ayo, she was in Ayo, Ayo. Okay, I'll just her up she was, yeah, I've seen her somewhere. Was she in Wakanda Forever? Probably. Ayo. She's a comedian. I, I know I've seen her somewhere. She was in Big Mouth and Bear and Bottoms. I think she's done a lot of animated stuff. That's probably yeah. yeah. The Bear, yeah, Hello Goodbye, Bottoms, We Lost Our Human, Big Top Burger, As of Yet, How It Ends, Dickinson, Cicada. And she's going to be in the Thunderbolts. And she's in Thunderbolts. Who's she, who is she in Thunderbolts? They, it's to be announced. But they got her in 2024 gotcha. Thunderbolts. Okay. So they got her as April. She's a comedian, so we'll see how they... Because oh, yeah, um, there's an April... Elementary school movie. The show. Elementary? Uh, Abbott Elementary? Uh, uh, yeah, I can't take it. I can't say it. She's supposed to be in that this year. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, so, yeah. So, that is that. Speaking of Sherlock, they are looking to do a third one. Uh, Havel's trying oh. to join him again oh. for a third oh, Sherlock Holmes. Here we go again. So. There's Listen, that. Y'all leave um, alone. I, and then, I had to give y'all this as a final. Oh, Shanique was looking for that. <laughs> I'm not a big horror movie fan, but I'm in bed. The scary movie is coming out with a new one. Uh, they've got the new refillable iconic cup, the uh, mug hey, bucket you can uh, take back with you. So this is to the world. His name is Ghostface. It's not Scream. That's the name of the movie. Please call me Ghostface. <laughs> you know Blackpool's not going to get it's that Ghostface. correct. You know they ain't going to say that. They're going to say his name Scream. It's Ghostface. <laughs> Mama name is Scream. I'm going to call him Scream. Right. Y'all about been calling him Scream since so Scream was Scream. They keep calling that Silk song, uh, Can We Get a Room? The name of the song is more. Not can we get a room? That's just the first thing they said. <laughs> well, we also gonna remember the first thing we saw. So, can I get a room? It's gonna be the name of the song. It's like Luther Vance, that song, Turn Out the Lights. Everybody go and say, Turn Out the Lights. They don't know the song. That's not the title of the song. Right. All right. One real feel good moment before we go. What the hell? When Guy Sensei was like, I'm gonna be stronger than anyone around. Moderate says, I moderate declare you to be the strongest when he finally ended the at the end of his time. The fact that he finally got that recognition after coming as far as he did is next level. I gotta you know, say that. You know what? I'm still kind of mad about this. I, I actually low key thought I thought I thought as much as they hyped the eight gates in Naruto, I thought that was gonna be enough to take out Madara. I'm not gonna lie. I was like. Damn. I mean, apparently nah. It was. nah. I mean, he 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 did work. Now, had he been like Itachi, you know what I mean, with more re- like or somebody with some higher reserves, I think he would have. He probably would have demolished Madara <laughs> if he had some more energy reserves in him. But yeah, nah, nah. Now, nah. what I would love to see is a drunken eighth gate. By Rock Lee. Hell no. Hell no. Yes. no. Hell, hell, yes. hell, hell yes. 
I got no. a question though. I got a question. So while Guy was fighting Madara, and then let's say Naruto didn't come when he came, and Rocky went to Rocky only went to six fighting Madara. Yeah, yeah. With a weakened Madara, do you think Seven Gate Rocky could have finished off Madara? No, no. no. You don't think so? You think we had to go eight two? Madara would have been disappointed him to go that eighth game. It was what it he would have had to go. He would have had to be ten years older. Then I think so. I think if Guy and Rock, so okay. Side note: This just came to me. Spinoff series. What if Mike Guy and Rock Lee grew up together in the same time frame? First off, how much stronger would they have been? That's what oh, I'm it'll, it'll be they Goku and Goku. What you mean? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That no, is what I'm saying. Know what you know they would have been. I'm gonna use the old wrestling terminology. They would have turned. They would have turned each other to like the Naruto version of the Bushwhack Brothers. That's what they would have been. Mm. Now think about them two going after Madara with eight gates. That's been over. That's been over. Just bro, this, so I would love to I'm, see I'm, that. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a move. I'm gonna give you a move that they would do. Rock Lee jumps up in the air. And he's playing like straight back with his knees bent. That guy jumps up and they go Not foot Dudley to foot. Boys. Look, no, they go foot to foot. And Rocky with all his strength kicks guy towards Madara. And go, <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. guy does it. A super dynamic injury, bro. It's over. Yeah. But he did by himself, he cracked some ribs. Yeah. If he did yeah. that, Rocky he'd have put his foot him through him. him. He'd have pushed his foot bro. through him. <laughs> bro. I mean, even Madara said, like, if he didn't have the enhancements, yet, he would have died. He would have yeah. died. I mean, Madara even said that. Too. Like, if I didn't have the enhancements, I'd have been dead. Yeah. I, he would have been dead. He's, that's why I was kind of mad because they hyped the eight game. Like, they're going to use this eight game during this last arc. I mean, the way they hyped it, like, it's a suicide move. It was worth it, Man. though. It was definitely hey. worth it. Now, okay. No, 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 no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got a better one. Got a better one. Hold up. Chosen yeah, butterfly effect with eighth game. Oh. No, no. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 eight right gates. <laughs> no, I, I, I can I, see. I, I, go in I had somebody else. I can think of a. Bo- I can think of a board that could probably pull that off. But I, I, really, I know. But I, is this break the genjutsu? Sorry, break I had to throw that out there. My bad. My brother. Break, rock, come on, break the genjutsu with me. The board is not real. <laughs> They're already oh, yeah. there. They're one. already have been part one. So I, I got one. Hear me out, dude. After Kakashi get both eyes and say, you know what, guy, I'm gonna use your move to finish this and go eight gates. Oh, we're snap. both trying. Guys. So Kakashi and guy going eight gates. Yes, now, that would wait, be wait, something. Wait, now, with this the is chidori on the foot, eyes. with the chidori on his feet. <laughs> You think no, you think it's too small. He has both eyes now. Where did he get when he had both eyes? Oh, so so oh Jesus Christ. Oh, so smooth. Oh, yep. Jesus Christ. He said Hito on the eighth gate. I'm with Jumbo. I'm with Jumbo on that one. No, 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 no. You know what? Moderate would have been like. You thought of that. Been, he said, I wouldn't even thought of this. Come out. Wait, 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 wait. And then not don't do it that way. Do it with the uh the dimensional transport so it turns into a Goku's instant transmission, Kamehameha, and he no, works yeah. through the block and comes on the other side of him. <laughs> like he look, no, we can make it so much worse. He he, he put like but it's it's Kakashi a guy. He yeah. pushes open the gate, guys. Coming in already a moderate one way, then he goes to punch the air. He opens another one and he's punching he, on he's, moderate the, yep, other the other way. <laughs> yep. Dory, what is bro? Yep, we need, we need to call the man now. We need to redo the whole fight and let's not <laughs> let Naruto, you know, get caught in the Sukiyomi. So we're gonna have Bruh, there's have so Naruto. there's so many <laughs> different things <laughs> that could I mean, have happened. dropped the ball a lot in that final fight. Let's be in that fight, particularly. He ain't do no wrong oh, against Sasuke in the final in Final Valley, but 
Yeah, that Madara Obito fight went about maybe 30 episodes longer than me to. On, well, now I can kind of blame Sakura. No, that was more Kagi. Yeah, never mind. That what I Kage. want, I still want. What I still want, I feel I got robbed. My biggest I got robbed fight of Naruto mm-hmm. was Rock Lee being injured when he fought Kimimaru. That was my you biggest I got robbed Ooh. fight. Yeah. I want to see that fight. You got a point. Hands there. down. I want to see him fully healed, drunk, rocking him. Like, win or lose. <laughs> it's too bad we never got... Well, no, that was a, technically a filler arc, and that was a good filler arc, too. We never we never really got our Rock Lee and Sasuke rematch, either. True. That wouldn't have been... A, no, I want a Rock Lee Gar rematch. I'm talking about kids. I'm talking about Naruto, not Shippuden. I'm talking about right there in Naruto. Oh, before okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have it when, they, when it was actually, you know, par. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing I did like about Shippuden when they did that flashback filler. How the rest of the um, rest of the cast got the tuning level. I didn't like that arc. That would if Sasuke didn't leave, that would have been a good time to get that rematch in that filler, in that filler arc. Um, honestly, that would have been a good now time another one that I feel like I robbed of is because Biakia. Why am I saying Biakia? I was like, I'm on, sorry, that's Bleach. <laughs> I'm tri- yo, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to, to wrap Bleach up here in a minute. To the list? Uh, Bleach no. list was it? Reishi? No, it was not on the list. I said, I Reishi feel was like not that. on the list. But Bleach has too many different power systems, too. The last part, another topic for another day. Yeah, yeah, we have to go into that one later. Uh, no, uh, what's his name? Reishi, right? Neji. Neji, as an adult, fighting Seven Gates, Rock Lee. I want to see if they can hang. I don't, hmm. I don't think that he was if he'd have grew up, you know what I'm saying, been training there the whole time. I wonder if he could have kept right now nah, because well, he would have been training with Hanabi. Neji and Hanabi would have probably been training together. Then I uh-huh. think he not so would have stopped fighting. She would have fought till she had her kids, so she had Barto and Himawari. Yeah, I guess yeah. she maybe she gets back. I maybe cried. she gets a fighting spirit. I, I cried when uh, I saw that episode where Barto talked to his uncle. Oh, 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 that, yeah. that, that, that hurt. That was like, damn. That hurt. That, that was like, ooh. Itachi did die early. Yeah. Yeah, but Tachi's a tragic hero. I don't care what anybody said. He's a tragic hero. I saw something on TikTok. Somebody was telling us, um, all anime fans, we need to let go of the Akatsuki Clouds. And I said, never. <laughs> like, they said we over. Then they the said we need to let go of the Akatsuki Clouds. Man, yeah, they said they said listen, they said tell him get tell him let go of Jordan's. <laughs> no, he he's a, no, he is in he's an anime podcaster, and he said us uh-huh. as a community need to let go of that We need to find something else. We over today. Um one of the guys that we follow on um, Trail, the one we uh-huh. met at the Dragon Con yeah. on the podcast, he had a, he's taking off clothes. Everything had a Koski on it. He went down. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, we never do it. I'm still rocking to the day. He had the coat. He had the jacket. He had the shirt. He had the hat. He had the tie. I'm like, bro. I think I he mean, had the cufflinks, too. All right. If he wants us to, re- if he wants to retire so bad, what's going to replace it? Because that means, that means there's going to uh, be another. Look, for me, um, I'm getting this tattoo. I'm getting this tattoo. I would say I would say the pirate flags. Yo, somebody yep. need. All right, I'm gonna say that's right. Did y'all see the Jim Bay one? Never mind. Did y'all see the Jim Bay one? What? They um, you know how everybody started having their own. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, nah, I haven't seen that. Yeah, fan drew it and sent it off to uh, Oda, and Oda said, "Let me tweak it," and he all he did was just tweak it just a little bit, and it looks immaculate. Uh-huh. Oh wow, that's bro, pretty. Just well, that's like, pretty cool. Old uh, at its fan art, that's pretty cool. Why are we? She said, "Why are we dropping the clouds?" Um, we're, we're not. We're not dropping the cloud. I'm just saying. Somebody said on the podcast, it was it was like a slope. But when you think about it, it is really overdone. But we're not going to get rid of it no time soon. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I mean, what's going on? I got something like, like, better. Why well, ain't is nothing truly to replace it with right now? Because if we say you know, power flag, nobody's gonna get Roger. Because I'm getting, um, you know, this no, one maybe you so could, it could be an entire series of Jolly Rogers, though. 
True. That's true. I'm not getting all the Connor Rogers on me. But you can also no, no, no. like just like one of each. How do you I leave mean? us and come back mid conversation? I can't believe. But you know what? Honestly, which could have probably could have took it. I mean, if it wasn't a Koski flag, it might have been not. It wouldn't have been the headbands. Honestly, headband. It would have been. It wouldn't. Have, well, the thing is, the Koski flag were all the take me all the headbands. What's up? Right. You know, that was the only thing that everything had an umbrella under. That's the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they so all had their original. Can, original, original village, yeah. You can read whatever village you want. Throw on a Koski flag. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Play. You know what I wanted to buy, but I never did. There was like people doing their own custom headbands, and they had the headband with the U.S. flag with the cross mark on it. I wanted to buy that yep. so badly, and I never I'm did. The you other one did. is probably would have been uh, Kami House. You know what? Yep. I'm not Kami House. If, if, or... if the show got more, if the show had more, I feel like like people have been rocking like me. I'm gonna get one. Um, not necessarily the fair emblem, but the emblem for fairy tale. Yeah, they are already, they are already tattoos for one. No, oh, yeah, right here. And people and people like tattoos. You get a point all, there. Like Dragon of Dark <laughs> Flame, I'm gonna have Jolly Rogers. I'm gonna have a fairy tale emblem. I'm gonna have a whole bunch. Definitely get my fairy tale joint. Man, but man. all right, y'all. Well, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping down. Um, definitely appreciate y'all swinging through with us. For yes, night. sir. We actually got through pretty much everything. A lot. Um, got through a lot of a stuff lot. today. So we will catch up with y'all next week. As of right now, we're still on for next week. Um, okay. no changes there. Um, I may be a little late. I may not be here. You all, so I apologize. But the rest of the crew will be. Um, so. Just so y'all know that, I apologize. Mm-hmm. Got some family stuff to do, but either way, we will still have the show. Um, anything y'all want to say in closing out? We will. We should have a special guest next week. Um, my brother-in-law, cool. Said he impressed us with his presence. The one that was in Creed Three, awesome. Oh, that's pretty so, cool. Well, sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. I would just say, um, I'm. Uh, so the movie is right. So he, oh. y'all can ask questions. I bet that, that, <laughs> hey, watch Monty. Creed. Yeah, if you like, go see Creed three if you haven't this week, that is an awesome movie. I know I still got to see. I know I, I might just wait for Ant Man to come on Disney Plus. Honestly, I'll be honest. I think I'll just wait for, for Disney Plus. Um. Okay, I'm sorry, Jumbo. That was wrong. Wait, <laughs> he said if Itachi you. trained his niece. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. Lock on. Oh, right. Wrong. The Monty, we talked about it a little bit. We'll, they'll definitely talk about it next week, though, with Creed. They'll go in deep with uh, with Creed and everything next week, definitely. Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I'm I'm still on Twitch. I'm still I'm streaming Octopath Traveler 2. I'm trying to think of some other games I want to stream. If y'all got any suggestions, I'm definitely going to probably start doing Streets of Rage 4. Oh, usually... Hogwarts. Mm, Cold stream Hogwarts with me. <laughs> I might do Streets of Rage 4. If I can figure it out, if I can get my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on my PS5, I will definitely start streaming Yu-Gi-Oh with my with the classic decks. Yeah. I mean, that I will definitely if I can figure if I can get my Konami account to connect to my Switch and then connect it over to the PS5. I see the video I will, how to do it. Um, but yeah, do an Octopath. I'm gonna start doing Streets of Rage 4 because usually they have a weekly survival mode. Um, probably just do that with like the black characters, Adam, Cherry. It's just the black characters. I might just see how far I can get. I mean, me and cool. me and Shaniqua, we've been we we usually play survival mode once or twice a week. We together, the two of us actually we got to about level tw- we hit level 21 last night together. Oh, nice. A, yeah, she we've been trying to get her up to 20 and we Got one of the more harder achievements. Both of us have it now on Streets of Rage for the DLC. There is a achievement to unlock all the ultimate alternate moves for all the characters in Streets of Rage uh-huh. that include old school, new school, all of them. Fun fact about that particular achievement: only one point six percent of people who bought the DLC have that achievement. 
and me and Shaniqua both have it. Oh, wow. Nice. Immaculate. It's, it's very oh. tedious. And I can see why a lot of people haven't got it. It's tedious, but you know, Streets of Rage is another one I'm going to start. And, and like I said, if there's any other game you guys want me to stream that's on PS5, that's not Hogwarts. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. I just, I, I'm not into Harry Potter. I, I get it. I know people like it. That's just not my thing. But Bro, I probably do. Even people who don't will not be out of friends like Hogwarts. Maybe I have to give it a try. Or I don't know if there's other games. I might think about. I I have Xenoverse. I never played that, but I know that's probably been played to death on Twitch. I would imagine it's about you playing yeah. what you want to play. Plays how you play. Period. But if you I can get the capture, want to play? Yeah, if I get the um, capture card, I, streaming. I don't think I'm gonna be streaming Hogwarts tonight because I I like to at least get, get two hours in when I play Hogwarts and most of spare. But I might do some Yu Gi Oh. Or some Call of Duty. More, more likely it's gonna do you other people like people to get beat. <laughs> <laughs> so um, go watch Jay go beat some people on Twitch right after this. <laughs> Probably like Wednesday or Tuesday, like maybe Wednesday or Tuesday, I might do Streets of Rage in there. Fridays and Saturdays might just be my Octopath night. They might just be my Octopath night. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get on earlier Saturdays because I was enjoying that stream. Like I did pretty good on that stream. I was, but I just I think I just started too late at night, honestly. That was because I was doing I was doing good I was doing good, but like like you saw it, Panda. I was like I got my first yeah. party together, so you saw the party I got. Which we, yep, yep, uh, like, yeah. Like I chose. Okay, I'll have, What's the I like Jay and Volk. Yeah. You guys know your RPG terminology. So if I told you I played Octopath and RPG wise, if I told you I got the Thief, the White Mage, the Black Mage, and the Animal and the Animal Tamer. Is that a good party? Like that's my that's my first four yeah. in Octopath. That's, that's more him. What what's the drip? <laughs> wow, Demon Slayer, you did good, Jigglypuff. Wow, no, Rod was saying uh, his crew was a beast tamer, white mage, black mage, and a thief. What do you think of that combination? I ain't mad at it. I'm I told him I was like the only thing he needs is a tank. If he yeah. can get like a like an armored something, Thanks. and he be he be that. set set. That's, yeah. that's, um, to me, though, that's that's a good little start. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like so while I'm thinking about it, oh, y'all know the D and D movie getting ready to come out. I yeah, that I plan on going to see in theater. I don't go yeah, see stuff in theater often, but I will be going to see that in theater. And actually, I'm gonna say something else too. I think I actually want to see the Mario movie now. I, th- I think I that the last couple of trailers kind of won me over. Yeah, um, so yeah, we probably gonna see that. It's already out. All right, I may go see it this week then or something. Yeah, then you got or this like, weekend. Past- and low key, there's a lot of movies coming out this month in April. There's a lot of movies coming out low key. Yeah, like we didn't know mm. about Demon Slayer until like three, four days prior. Right. Yeah, but they, yeah, but there's a lot more I'm, fast I'm, ten. I'm it for. is Super Mario's April fifth. So I was going to see a trailer for that I'm in the movies that. today. I'm kind of surprised. Honestly, I'm sitting at the creek from real watching people watch up, walk out from watching on Demon Slayer. Like, how was it? They're like, it was good. I was like, no, I want to see Don't it. go watch the Demon Slayer movie. It's what? not a movie. They pulled an attack on Titan. Yeah, it's they not did. a movie. It's a recap. Oh. I was surprised. I was surprised. Speaking of which, I was surprised One Piece never did something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bring One Piece back up, but nah, <laughs> it, they got too much extra they can do with it. Like <laughs> we, they don't have to. They do enough recapping during the series that they don't need to do it during the movie. Exactly. <laughs> they do a little recapping in one episode. They recap four episodes in the first fifteen minutes of the episode. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah, but other than but, that, I'm looking. And I'm looking forward to Fast Fast and the Ninja Turtle movie. I'm looking forward to to now. I'm I'm on board with the Ninja Turtle movie, and even yeah, Mario. It's, yeah, the Mario, last two episodes. It's, are, it's the last two episodes of the season and the first episode of the next season. Yeah, that's that's a recap. It's yeah, more old shit than it's new shit. That's worse than when it um than a human. That's another so topic for I another. Know, yeah, that's another topic for another day. I just thought of a, 
We might have a All debate on who's this. the biggest rip off. I just thought sometimes it was a rip off. Right. Michelle Rodriguez is in Honor Among Thieves. I'm going to see the movie. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, well, not she, sorry. You got two movies coming out this year, don't it? Uh, what's the other one? Being a hater. Fast ten. Fast ten. Fast ten. I don't watch. I don't watch those. <laughs> those aren't movies. They're weekly installments. They're like they're like soap operas. <laughs> At, At this, this point, point. <laughs> I mean, I was selling. I was selling um, Shaniqua earlier. She's like, "I will drop you off at the movie to go see that." I'm not saying like, you know what? At this point of the game, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, wait for it. that to come yeah. on something. But I mean, uh, brought it back racing at the end. Yeah, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. She said, "You are no longer her favorite Hufflepuff, Jay." <laughs> she knows another one. Dun, dun, dun. See, it be on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> now he left. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we will catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all swinging by. Love you. Hope you have a great week. Thank and we'll catch y'all out. next week. Thank, thank right. you. Coming out. God bless. And, good night. And, and Monty. You you got to make it up for Jay now. You made him sad leaving the show. Like you gotta you gotta make it up to him. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Then she said bye. She didn't even care. <laughs> nope. Well, gentlemen, ladies and gents, that that's settles a, that. That's an anime betrayal, ladies and gentlemen. judges. Yep, anime betrayal right there. <laughs> he started. chose One Piece. Wow. Right. Wow. I mean, what was the other option, though? Let's just be real. Got black the other option? Anyway, all right, we out. Catch y'all yeah. later. Bye. <laughs>